This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Please note the thoughts, opinions, jokes, and every other bad taste that the guest and the host of Hobie aka the history of bad ideas, is of their own, is not associated with any companies they may work for, any firms they work with, any advertisers, or anybody else in general. Remember, it's just a joke. Kevin James. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. So bad. It's the history of bad ideas. It's the history of bad. Oh, yeah. It's the right history of bad. It's the history of bad ideas. Podcast. Ooh, welcome to the history of bad ideas, episode number 204. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Blake. I'm Jim. I'm Doug. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's almost like the Floppy Awards. Not quite. No, 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 no. no. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, just to let you guys know, the Floppy Awards are up on our Facebook, or, fa- or sorry, Twitter page at Bad Ideas Podcast. Big news. For the next two days after this episode comes out, you can vote for Canadian of the Year, the number one award show, uh, number one award in podcast land. So, uh, it's between Chad Rose, Besotted Geek, Nickel, and Heno. Heno. So I almost forgot about Heno because I almost forgot about Heno like he almost forgot about us coming to visit when he was in Ohio. Yeah. Fuck him. What? I can't stay mad at you. You're Blake's pod lover. Blake, how are you doing this week? I'm glad you got the Russian outfit on, the Russian mafia outfit on this week. No, my Russian tracksuit. Yes, I like it. I like it. Thank you. I wore it specifically for Doug. Oh, oh. I was just mm-hmm. watching Behind Enemy Lines, and the, the sniper was dressed just mm-hmm. like that. I don't know. With Owen Wilson? Yes. Oh. I just like the ending of it. I forgot how... When the military comes in and... Oh, spoiler! Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's only 15 years old. God. Yeah, so that way you can have those people commit those crimes but not be persecuted for them. Down the hall. Because they're wearing track suits? <laughs> That's correct, because they're not military, they're paramilitary. Uh. So therefore you're not held to the Geneva Code of, you know. Oh, you're not held. Okay, they. Rules of war. You That's right. Can't. Law what's, uh, of war. What's Worsley? What's, what, what that? Is... <laughs> Explorer? <laughs> Frozen? <Cold>? Frozen? <laughs> Please send your complaints to Jeff at Graphic Novels. No, send them to you. Ah, go ahead. Because that was a bad joke. Sorry. You're welcome. Bad. Wow. <laughs> Simmer down, Vlad. <laughs> uh, Doug, you got some fans. Actually, one. Randall Holt is excited for you to talk Disney this week. Woo! You know, you know I always come bearing gifts. Oh, God. First off, I heard you were long pads, so... I brought you a Rocket Raccoon Pez. Oh! Ooh. And then the world's smallest Pez. Oh, God. It's a clown. It's a clown. That's scary. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. Ooh. Put that on the Facebook page. Can you even put a full Pez in there? Full, full Pez rack in there or what? Yeah, it looks like it only fits half up. That is a creepy clown. Half a Pez rack. <laughs> yes, it actually works. It's a little person Pez dispenser. <coughs> oh, it's the Peter Dinklage of Pez. That's cute. Nah. <laughs> And, and then, since my suspension is finally over... Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, you got a little inappropriate at the expo. I, I, I wasn't here for the 200th episode, but I brought gifts. The bicentennial? Now, the the person helping me told me that D is the Roman numeral for 140. So, therefore, I got you all... What? D60 <laughs> hats. <laughs> Whoever told you D was the Roman numeral was wrong. 
Oh, D is Roman roll, not for 140. <laughs> I had it for 140, so 140 plus 6. I have an extra one. Do you want it, or should it go into the prize bin? I don't care. I say put it in the prize bin. Are you sure? I am sure. Are you positive? I am positive, but I appreciate it. Are, are you yeah. sure? I, that is a Disney hat. hat. But we're going to say it's a Hobie 200 hat. <laughs> Disneyland. Well, well, Look, I feel like look a gangster. How much I spend on you guys? I for some, for no, some no, no, these had to be discounted, right? <laughs> you wouldn't spend that much. No, 100 percent. He bought them at full retail price. That's right. That's right. <laughs> full price. Really Only the best for you guys. Cyber Monday. Uh, no, they were really ninety nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. As I said, full retail <laughs> price. That is a markdown. <laughs> Nice job. Uh, yeah, well, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. So yeah. I got in the prize bin. Yeah. Yeah. So I could put this into my this hat into my uh, PS4 fund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't think this is much better. You have a garbage can right next to your seat, Jeff. With your boy. <laughs> All in honor of episode 200. Well done. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Doug. Yes, thank yes, you. No problem. That is very nice. Oh, very are we nice. still recording? Yes. <laughs> I thought we paused. Nope. <laughs> it's actually not a bad fitting hat. Yeah, except that Disney stuff on it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, speaking of that, Doug, since you nixed the top five this week. I nixed the top five? Yeah, we were going to do top You did? Five. I didn't nix it. We were going to do top five worst Disney characters, and you oh. responded that your one through five would be blank. Okay. Oh, you, you have to admit there are some bad ones out there. And, okay. and worse doesn't mean bad. They could just be not the best. I would I would have picked <laughs> Bugs Bunny, SpongeBob, you know, Cat Dog. I don't Cat think they're Dog. Disney characters. Oh, well, that's, that's that's just point. you wait. <laughs> <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> yeah, they will be Disney characters soon. I would have picked Jar Jar Binks. And, and I have to say, I listened to the last episode, uh-huh. and I was so proud when Jeff actually got the name of Pandora, World of Avatar. You mean Avatar Land? Avatar no, Land. You, got, you got it right. I heard you say it right. But but we call it Avatar Land. Uh, you know. Because, oh, isn't it worse that I know what it is and call it wrong? We also te- You're just putting on an act for these guys. I, you know, and I'm putting, I, I know you go act. home and watch Disney Channel. He's trying to act tough uh, in front of us. No, I don't watch Disney mm. Channel. I, I tried s- to watch that uh, Star Wars show once and didn't Rebels? like it. Yeah. Well, it doesn't like you either. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I didn't like it enough to watch Disney Channel again. I'll put it that way. Uh, my son is really big in DuckTales, the new DuckTales. Really? He likes it. I like the new animation. The animation is a little weird. Yeah. They added a girl. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. They, they added a girl? So they got two girls now? No, they only have one. Was there one on the original? Was it Webby? Yes. Yeah, she was on the original. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Nerd. Are they naming her How after... How do you not know that? After yeah. Web Feet? Yes. Isn't that body shaming? Could be. <laughs> Down the hall. She's in the counselor's office right now. <laughs> Louie, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> and Webby. <laughs> and Webby. <laughs> Launchpad's voice kills me. I can't, I can't get past Launchpad's voice. Who does it? I don't know. Launchpail? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Jason, could you do me a favor and yes. get a picture of Jeff wearing this wonderful hat? I would, but my phone just died. Uh, and, and you can post it on uh, the Facebook page. And ask everybody, does he look like Michael Moore? Oh. <laughs> Are you saying that looks like a Detroit uh, Tigers hat? Better yes. question, though. Could he throw a football better than Matt Moore? <clears throat> no. Uh, better, but better than Jay Cutler. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. A concussed Jay Cutler? I thought he's always concussed. <laughs> Did you see what was the second week of the season? Cutler was going for a hair, Hail Mary to end the first half. Okay, he's on the 40, his own 40. He goes to throw it downfield, and he throws it out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Completely out of bounds. Doesn't even come close to the end zone or in the field of play. And it's like, well done, Jay. You are truly a great quarterback. Hey, that's, that's what smoking cigarettes does to you kids. To, 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 to his benefit, though, he tried to retire. That's true. He could try. <laughs> they kept bringing him back. <laughs> that play is almost as spectacular as... Uh, Fourth quarter, Bengals down, fourth and three. Andy Dalton rolls out and throws the ball out of bounds to, to avoid getting sacked. Well, that's a good call. You don't want to give that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as good as the Browns put a football team on the field. It, it, almost. Or, or it's almost as good as the Browns quarterback audibling a run and uh, at the end of the game and then the clock run out before you can do anything else when it didn't <laughs> score. That was the first half. It was oh, quarterback okay. sneak. Half, I'm sorry. <laughs> the end of the first half. Quarterback sneak on the goal line. How are you? How how draining is it that your team is one and twenty seven, or twenty eight in the last two years? 
It's, it's not. Tough. It's not draining. Uh huh. You're it's, just expecting it you now. Stopped caring a while ago, I think. Did you go to the Browns game? This I mean, week? it's expected. Okay. Did you go to the Browns Bengals game this week? Yeah. Somebody found it in their heart to give me and Doctor Bednar tickets. Mm-hmm. To torture us. Would that be? The it wasn't a gift. Year? It wasn't a gift. It was a sadistic measure of uh, violence. Mm-hmm. Would that be uh, Jim? Yeah. So did you enjoy the game? <laughs> what do you think? It was nice <laughs> weather for a football game in uh, November. Unfortunately, what do you we lost think? the Bengals and the Browns, so it wasn't really much of a football game. Listen, every, every, you know, all right. So in the goodness of his heart, Jim had the best of intentions. And, you know, for <laughs> Jeff and your no, friends. Jim, I don't know if it is the best of intentions. No, no, no. Did, um, you, did you ask him how many people he tried to give those tickets to before he actually gave them to you? No. Uh, I charged him. Oh. <laughs> they try charge us for free. But, Still too much. <laughs> but in the goodness of his heart, he knew that uh, Mr. Bednar and I would want to go see the uh, Browns Bengals game this weekend, and so yes, we did. And it was exactly everything that I thought it would be. It was the stuff a of gr- grave hands. disappointment, <laughs> and just when you think that we're going to do something good, they do something. St- Stupid and fuck it up and lose in the most horrible fashion way. Now, I used to blame this stuff on Bednar because every time we had gone to a Browns game, we used to make an annual pilgrimage to Cleveland for, uh, you know, it's kind of like the anti Hajj. Because yeah, we weren't going there to be religious and get cleansed. We are going there to get, you know, soiled and, and filthy and, you know... Um, well, why else would you go to Cleveland? Masochistic. Yeah, exactly. To what the, the Browns, Browns game. Yes, to visit, to pay homage to the factory of sadness. And every time that we've gone up there, we have lost in the most amazing... No, not amazing. The most... <laughs> Depressing. Depressing ways possible. Like the you know, the Dwayne Rudd helmet throw I was there for, the he hate me hundred plus yard games, uh you know, the uh JJ uh the Jeff Abraham substitute who was a dirt bag who picked off a you know pass at the line of scrimmage for a touchdown to win the game for you know, the uh biggest lead blown against the Ravens loss at halftime to you know, Raiders, you know, the first time that you had a 300, 100, 100 rookie trifecta, you know, to, and, and I realized this history. past weekend game, it was, uh, uh, what was it, Mixon, the, the the female boxer, I mean, I'm sorry, the guy who hits women, it was his, it was his season high rookie rushing record for him for 114 what, 114 plus yards and I used to blame all this stuff on Bednar because when I would go Bednar was there but I realized Bednar went to the Steeler game earlier in the year and there was nothing historical about it but I went there and I think the common denominator is me <laughs> I just need to stop going to this stuff well we're glad you do Thank you. In in defense of Joe Mixon, mm-hmm. at least when he punches a girl, she's not wearing a helmet. <laughs> Unlike AJ Green, um, Michael Crabtree, and Akeem Talib. Hey, hey, Crabtree, you took his chains. Yeah. His, his, his necklace twice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You don't twice. do that. Two don't chains. <laughs> Yeah. Now it was pretty interesting. When we did show up, there were people in our seats, and we had to, we had to pull the um. Every here's our tickets. We had to pull our tickets out, and like, uh, all four of us are here now. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, sorry. And you're like, that's right. That's right. That's right. Don't let me call the usher. Hey, look, there are seats better than ours. Let's sit in. No, actually, there are great seats, honestly, to tell you the truth. They are beautiful seats. seats. I And I would like to go again at some point in time when the Browns are good. But <laughs> so we, we, so we went there. Now, the two ladies that were there next to us, I sat down and I'm like, they oh, hey, are friend. you so-and-so's friend? And I'm like, Who? <laughs> I'm like, uh, Jim Jeff now gave us these tickets. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I could remember your friend, your other friend's Brian, name, Brian. Brian. That's it. So the lady's like, oh, that's okay. All right, so, you know, you're going to sing the, the fight song when we score touchdowns. I said, no. <laughs> well, well, no, you, you're, she's like, here? no, I, went in, I, I wore my Reds hometown hero hat because I ain't paying. I the Browns don't deserve my money to buy any of their <laughs> shit anymore at this point. Aren't they giving it away by now? 
Kind of. So I, Disney has yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> The Browns have yeah. to be much more. Yeah, they're part of the uh, USA and uh, Africa and Southeast Asia. <laughs> No, so he said, there, no, no, you got to sing the Bengals fight song. You know, it's like, hey, rah, 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 whatever it is, you know, the, you know, we ain't in Hungary. Bengals roaring. Yeah, it's like your typical 1950s, 60s bullshit song. So she's like, you got to sing it. I'm like, no, I'm not. She goes, no, you got to sing it. If you're going to sit here with us, you had to sing it. I'm like, no. And she's like, well, I'm like, I'm a Browns fan. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, you can sing it anyways. I don't know the words. But they put it up on the screen so that uh, you can sing it along. And I looked at her and I said, I'm really dyslexic. And she looked at me for a second like, is this guy fucking with me? Is he really dyslexic? And I started laughing, and she's like, oh, all right, he's just... I would have said illiterate. Yeah. Well, I did say illiterate first. Oh. Detroit's only 48% literate. Yeah. We don't know which one. Yeah. The literacy rate is 48%. Does that mean 48 can or can't read? I don't think it matters. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The literacy, literacy rate is 48%. What? You take everything literal. Uh, moving yeah. on. Yeah. So I'm glad you had a good time. It was it was it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was all right. It was good. Bed, Bednar and I had a good time with, you know, we, we, you know the the old the female perspective was there and <coughs> and uh, Bednar's uh, music buddy Sean was there. So it was a good time. Yeah. But Bednar couldn't high five anybody. <laughs> He'd be walking along and like other Browns fans. He's boy. He was bright enough to wear his Browns jack brown shirt. And so you're doing that with a newly surgical shoulder. Mm-hmm. Aren't you worried about that? Like, oh, I didn't think that through. <laughs> but he, he really didn't think Other that. Arm. What he did really think of, because you know, Bengals fans are notoriously horrible people, by the way. Just <laughs> let you know. Yes, they are. <laughs> For fights and everything else. But anyways, but what he didn't count on. Was other Browns fans that wanted to high five him as he's walking by because his, his his right shoulder was operated on from the yeah. uh, the excessive masturbation, yeah. you know the torn rotate, <laughs> rotator cuff. You know, let be the doctor; he gets a discount right. on the surgery. All right, let there be a lesson, kids. Change up, left, right, left, right, left, right. No, but anyways, <laughs> sit on your hand. So he's walking by. People are like, yeah, woo! They like raise the right hand to high five him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Walking by, and they all get pissed off at him because he's not high five because he can't raise his hand. He can raise his left hand. Should have brought the sling. Yeah, yeah. That's what I told him. I said you should have brought the sling so at least when the Bengals fans try to pick a fight with you, they at least won't hit you in the right shoulder. Or you can strangle them with the sling. You know, uh, they'd be dirty and cheap and just punch them square in the right shoulder. That's right. That's like why you don't wear a knee brace on the soccer field because they're going to kick you there. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. What soccer? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. American football. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For our 365 yes. British listeners. So is that your up or down this week or both? Oh, that's a down. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, you got any downs? Uh, yeah. There, there was the app uh, Disney's Movies Anywhere where you could, when you buy your movies digitally, it'll come onto an app. So they've upgraded to include all different movies. Mm-hmm. Like porn? No. Oh. So it's not so, all different movies. So when you, well, I guess you could put porn on. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't have any. Mary Poppins. <laughs> so your first purchase is just the rights to guarantee a sec for you to buy the, the movie? Well, if you buy like a. Yeah, it's like you have to like pay yeah. $5 just to have the honor to pay like another $5 to watch it. No, no, it's free. It's all free. That wasn't one of those, those microaggression? No, no. Microtransaction. Microaggression? microaggression. <laughs> so, was it one of those microaggression <laughs> transactions? So if you link accounts, mm-hmm. you get free movies. So if you link like your Google Play or iTunes or whatnot. That's how they get you. Well, you link two accounts, you get Jason Bourne, Lego Movie, and Big Hero 6. Okay. Which I did. I got. I had two accounts. Two of the three isn't bad. But but when you link one at your first account, you get Ice Age, and the Ghostbusters the new Ghostbusters movie. Oh. So yeah. they don't want a third account linked. I. I, I why? Now oh. I'm stuck with the Ghostbusters. Why did you link the third account? This is the first the account. First account. Gives you, oh. you actually have to pay not to watch it. I guess. Because when you log in, they'll start playing it. <laughs> You're like, no! <laughs> Five dollars for this microaggression. Damn it, people are going to watch us whether they want to or not. We spent a lot of good money on this. <laughs> well, bad money on this. <laughs> so that's it's, your down. That's my down. Uh, my down is uh, something Blake sent me. The Jersey Shore is reunited. <laughs> 
Uh, the only thing I want to see about the Jersey Shore mm-hmm. reuniting is if they bring that girl back who punched Snooki in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and so she can do it again. And again. And, and again. again. <laughs> and you know what? I have to admit that si- the situation is more annoying than Snooki. But the Snooki is in the new Star Wars movie, right? She, she's the main bad guy, right? <laughs> Snooki smush smush! <laughs> Ray, you're going to join me, Snooki Snooki! <laughs> You know, is there anything more pathetic than not just being like an old person that watches MTV, but being like an old real world person coming back? Yeah, I got nothing better with my life <laughs> to do than come back on this show. Are they bringing Puck back? No, I don't. That would be fun. He was not in the. Uh, <laughs> that was but... real world, not Jersey Shore. That was real know. world, not Jersey Shore. Fuck, be... fuck would do it. Okay, <laughs> we, we can... They got to find him in the gutter first. That's the <laughs> that's the problem. Okay, going to. Uh... MTV shows. The uh, challenge is, is coming back now with the uh, champions versus uh, uh, all stars, which is athletes. So, like, Sean Johnson is in there, mm-hmm. and I believe they're bringing The Miz back. Ooh! To, to where? So I'm the Miz. It's back a full circle. Started. Full circle for the Miz. So, so which side is the Miz going to be on? I, he never the won the challenge. Oh, it's only winners of the challenge. Yes. Oh, and he never won. He's well, this big athlete that's been on it for 48 seasons. He was only on like the first three. Then he became a wrestler. Did you know the Miz is actually gone right now from wrestling for the next couple months because he's filming the Marine Six. It's his fourth installment of the Marine franchise. If, he, if he's you're, making you're money on it. No, I'm not kidding. When you said, That's my up. There's been <laughs> six Marine movies? Yes. Four of them with The Miz. I the remember first one, one. First one was John Cena. I remember Second that. one was Ted DiBiase Jr. And then the rest has been The Miz. I mean, if he's getting paid to do it, good for him. Yes. Yes. Uh, because Randy Orton did the 12-round sequel. <laughs> and he just pooped in everybody's bag. That was his thing. I'm a pooper. I don't know. So Miz, that's always my up. An, Miz always annoyed me from his very first stint on the real world. Well, you annoy me and I keep you around. Yeah. So? Is there a lot of gender confusion with the Miz? No. He's awesome. Not the, don't miss Well, he's not awesome. Shut up. <laughs> All I said was when I saw like the him first on the real world, mm-hmm. I said, this guy gives. Middle class white boys from Ohio a bad name. I'm like this podcast doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us Jeff is name. lower class. Okay, <laughs> come on. I mean, he's wearing a D- I was middle class. <laughs> now you're lower class. He's wearing a D60 hat. Come on. <laughs> two hundred episodes. Two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred. Jim, all right, Jeff, what's your down? Uh, I'm wearing a D60 hat. Okay, Jeff. Jim, what's your down? Uh, my 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 up would be uh, not going to the Browns Bengals game this week. <laughs> and you're down. Uh, and my second up is <laughs> not I, going to I, the Browns. I Bengals. sold the tickets to the Bengals Steelers, <laughs> so I don't have to see the Bengals get blown out. <laughs> <laughs> He actually made money on that transaction. He actually you know, had to pay people to take the Browns tickets. Well, he, he did text me, and he said, I just talked to your wife, and you're going to the Bengals-Browns game with me. I was like, she actually works on Sunday, so uh, I don't have a babysitter. <laughs> He's like, you're still going. Mm-hmm. Nope. No, yeah, no, no, I actually he said, said, I actually said but, but your wife quit her job. <laughs> what are they going to do, fire her? And he said, no, it's still a babysitting job. I'm like, Exactly. Yeah. So it's a daycare. It's a daycare. She can bring the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so any of your excuses were invalid. <laughs> Damn it. I still, I still like Bednar's initial reaction. Well, the funny thing was is when Jim put him on the bar in front of us, we both looked at it. We both didn't go, oh, yeah. We both looked at it and went, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Screw. <laughs> And then Bender's like, oh, you know, I might be selling some white wall tires Sunday. I may not be able to go. <laughs> Hold on, I got a guy in line too. A pair of white walls. <laughs> you want to manage the Indians this year? Oh, oh, no. I got a guy in line too. Why don't you buy some back. white walls? <laughs> can, can, can I tell you my off? No. Oh. Anyways, Jim, so how are you doing? I'm doing great. I kind of want to hear Jeff's off. Yeah. Blake, anything going on with you? I finished Stranger Things 2. Oh, yeah. I'm halfway through it. Did you like it? Oh, you're halfway through it? That's all right. Go ahead. I'm fine. No. I'm not going to finish it. I will. <laughs> no, you won't. You told us you were going to finish Jessica Jones. 
Yeah. I can't believe they killed all the kids off. That's fine. <laughs> well, no, that's <laughs> fine. It's going to make it difficult to do in the third season with most of the kids dead. Not really. Recast. Yeah. Don <laughs> Aston's in it. Goonies too. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, Sam Wise is in it, and uh, I didn't know Matthew uh, Modine would look so much like uh, Ron, Ry- Ron Reiser. What's his name? Paul, Paul Reiser. Reiser. Yeah. I mean, he almost looks dead on Paul Reiser. That's a great makeup job they did this season. It is. I am mad about him. Yeah. I say that. Exactly. I love Matthew Modine. He's a good sheriff. Yeah. Is I he know. a doctor this season? Is nah, that- he's like on a vision quest or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Is he at dinner for... No, nah, he, he's uh, he's a uh, he's gone. It's a diner, it's a diner, not he's, dinner. He's missing at some private school. I don't know how many school obscure time. movies have we put no, in there for people time. to know. That was Brandon Fraser. Who was that? No. One. Oh man, no, that's Matthew Modine. What are you talking about? No, oh Fraser man, I'm talking eyes. about this the horrible '80s uh, booby movie that he was in. Vision Quest. No, private school. Oh, I don't know. Private that. school. No, I've talked about this oh, yeah, before. That's right. We're going yeah, but I ignored you. <laughs> yeah, well, you shouldn't because. Is that where the robot had the genitals in the knees or something? Yeah, I don't know. No, that's not that. <laughs> no. So, did you like Stranger Things, too? Yeah, there are some, a lot of things that I like about it, things that I don't, things that were thrown in there to set up seasons three and four. Yeah. That almost felt very contrived and not really part of the plot. It was like, oh, shit, what are we going to do to set up next year? Oh, we'll send Elle out to Jersey, and then we'll send her back. By Jersey, you mean Chicago? Or no, was it Shore. Chicago? No, Chicago. She's, she's in the New Jersey Shore reunion. She's the <laughs> MTV Jersey Shore reunion. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chicago. Other direction. <laughs> she punches Snooki in the face without even touching her. It's awesome. <clears throat> Best was, yeah. episode ever. <laughs> she makes her head explode. Yeah. <laughs> she is, Snooki does look like the Demogorgon. <laughs> yeah. And, and then. And then you're dealt with this huge, you know, the big baddie for the entire time. And, and well, shit, I don't want to give stuff away. No, you're fine. And then and there's, like, all resolved in one episode. You're like, what? what? I mean, let why? Me, let me ask you this. Did you see L, L, season L, one? Yes. L is, not, L is not the focal point, although she kind of is. But the real focal point is Will and everybody else. I had a more problem with... Um, and it was Dustin's relation with Dart was the focal point. Yeah, that well for the first. Anyways, can we get? Why over... do you keep that thing? That was my question. You exactly. know what it's going to do? No, Apparently, a, he didn't. It's a lizard thing. No, no, I'm sure it's a real lizard. Uh, you just had an interdimensional beings uh, come over last season, last year. Yeah, let's keep this unknown yeah, but, creature yeah. in my but house. But you don't know that was coughed up by uh, was it Will? I no, but come on, that. you've never seen this thing before. Fuck that. Well, he was trying to it's discover like raccoon. what raccoon. reptile it was. No, no, kill that thing. Kill it. Yeah. Put some raid on it, and you're done. How far did you get, Jason? Uh, four episodes so far. So you didn't see him kill the cat yet? No. Okay. Okay. Dustin kills a cat? Uh, wow, that's pretty dark. Yeah, <laughs> but um, the whole the whole Nancy... Pelosi? No, Nancy, Jonathan, Steve thing. Love triangle, because, you know, Jonathan and Nancy kind of get together. And then Steve, you know... I, I saw a great meme that kind of summed up this season as where, you know, like, uh, Nancy's much better and doesn't deserve a guy like, was it Steve? Mm. I can't remember. And now this year's memo, meme is, well, Nancy doesn't deserve a cool guy like Steve. <laughs> Everybody's turned to like Steve this year. Yeah. Well, well yeah, pretty he much. Has good hair. He has awesome He's got hair. some great hair, and he actually shares that secret. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to give it away. Jizz? No. No, oh. it was not jizz. <laughs> it was not. No. Splooge? No. <laughs> no. No, no. Is no. that just a different come company? Come? Uh, yes. No. Come and come? No. 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 Damn it, they no. just they was... create the exact same product, but just put splooge on the, no, the label. I believe it. There's no, no... I think we have a South Park episode. No. <laughs> There's no something about Mary's secret to the hair. Uh, I bought uh, the new, on Black Friday this year, I only yelled at five. Do, do we really have to refer to things by their color? I Do we that. really have to go there? On Thanksgiving night, my sister-in-law <laughs> and I left our So it wasn't even Friday. It was no. Thursday. You you was the problem with this American it's holiday like these days. Family or go shopping. You know, just sit on the couch and drink beer and digest. I have a good time when I, when I hang out with my family for holidays. You have a good time when you hang out with my family. How come I don't? <laughs> 
Because you're not a likable person. No, no, I'm not. It's because Jim's passed out by 4 o'clock. That's why he has a good time. He's not there in the post, you know, post-digestive drinking. Who's going to clean the dishes? Fuck you attitude. I cleaned the dishes this year. Now, when you said you were with your, your sister-in-law, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. would that be the one that didn't show up at... Mom and dad. Down the hall. Down the oh, okay. hall. Okay, just checking. No, no, no. This is my wife's <coughs> sister. Oh, okay. We, we've gone every year. Yeah, okay. Home. Okay. Uh, we go every year. Well, we've got a family issue. <laughs> yes. podcast down family the counseling is down that way. Anyway, family <laughs> issues Dr. podcast. Dr. It's Dr. called Drew's in the house. Is that what Doctor Bednar's doing now? <laughs> it's called the FIP FIP podcast. It's on the Canadian. Podcast There's no network. fapping to the FIP. No fapping. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we did. I got uh, the new Oregon Trail expansion pack for a uh, card game. <laughs> the what? The Oregon Trail? What? Oregon. 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 The Oregon Trail. Origami. Uh, I have a sp- I have a speech impediment. <laughs> tough tough talk from a guy in a Russian tracksuit and a Disney hat. Hey, it's a D sixty hat. Fuck you, vlog. Two hundred episodes. That's what it means. That's right. <laughs> there, so you the Oregon Trail? Yes, I got the hunt for food thing, and you actually do go out looking for food. You need to get 600 pounds of food. Yeah, the, the best part is you showed that expansion pack, and, it, pack and it's in those little hard disk formats. Those are the coasters. It's oh, my God. Oh, those are coasters? Yes. I thought they were... Oh, my God. I think you got floppy, floppy disks. Disk. It's awesome. awesome. I thought it was something you found hard in the files or something. Oh, no. I bought oh, look at this. The old Oregon Trail. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. My oldest son loves the... Not the computer game. The we I got the uh, card game. Card the original game. Yeah, one. Oh. And it's awesome. Well, then they came out the well, expansion pack. The it's hunting. there. It's very <laughs> difficult to die to win. But the new one is a lot more fun. You kind of move around the uh, cards and you flip them over all that stuff. Yeah. But it is the same thing because you killed 126 rabbits at a, a pound a piece. You only can bring back 100. Damn it! <laughs> So it is fun. You get twelve rounds of bullets. <laughs> the and rabbit bit you. You die of rabies. Uh, let's see. We played last night. I died in two turns from a snake bite. My son then drowned in his fourth turn, and my wife uh, died of she got she died of dehydration. So, so it's a pretty realistic game then. It is. It is. It is. Actually, my wife died because she got lost and she didn't have a compass because she got lost three other times and kept using the compass. Um, I thought it was uh, your son died from cell phone withdrawal. <laughs> He's not old enough for that yet. Thank Christ. So, well, they had to modernize the game for the millennials. <laughs> so apparently this compass... No internet connection. No Uber. No internet wrong. connection. You starve. No Uber delivery. You die. <laughs> So, Jason, apparently this compass is only a one-time use you compass. Get four, it's one of the supply cards. So you got to find it. After you use it four times, it just breaks. It no, breaks. You, no, 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 no. After you, you throw it down. And I don't need this anymore. You get botulism from Chipotle. <laughs> I like this, I like this. The modern era Oregon Trail. You have where, a Taco Bell, baby. But where are you going? Where are you going? Back with Oregon. You could go to Portland, I guess, because a lot of people go there. Uh, where yeah. are we going? Austin, Texas? No, no, no. Austin? no we're still going to Portland. Okay, Portland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you got botulism from Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. Uh, what else you got? Burrito baby. The burrito baby. Kills your wife <laughs> on birth from Taco Bell. You're in Portland without beer wax. You get involved yeah. by the... Uh... No free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Your cell phone battery dies. <laughs> no charger. Your cell phone battery no dies. Charger, yeah. You don't have a band for your uh, man bun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or your 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 tie is too tight for the man bun. You right. die of strangulation. Uh, right. what How are you get? tying a man bun? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a man bun. Okay, I'm just going with it. <laughs> You get mauled on Black Friday shopping. <laughs> yeah. All millennials are doing it all mine. Uh, the internet crashes <laughs> while you're on Amazon. Your Amazon Prime fails. <laughs> Your credit card is maxed out. Yeah. <laughs> you die. Uh, I only got up five people this year on Black, Black Thursday slash Friday. Uh, that's because they were standing in the middle of the hall, uh, aisle not knowing what to do. And I said, please move, and they didn't let us move. And I said, stop being a fucking uh, obstacle. And then they started learning. Oh, okay. And then you yelled, everybody, move! I did do that once. <laughs> no one got the joke. Uh, your wife wouldn't. Uh, no, she hates that movie. Uh, I will say, though, um, I don't know if you guys know this, Walmart's kind of creepy. I don't know if you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Breaking news. Get up, get up, get up. 
50. Just saying. I think we need to have a special interview with uh, bringing uh, listener Pam and have her discuss all the friendly people she meets at Walmart. <laughs> that could be a very good episode after our Disney episode of with Doug and Randall Holt. I'm looking forward to that one. You guys can talk Avatar. Right? <clears throat> Next year's Expo. Yeah, Pandora Land, World of Avatar. Is that what it's called? Avatar Pandora. Land. Pandora, World of Avatar. Oh my bad. It's called Avatar Land. No. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Walmart, land of Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora's box. Uh, let's see. It's Mama Land. Blake, you were excited that uh, the Brits are getting an American princess? Hello, Vicar. We're on nerdly.co.uk. So I guess we got to talk something British. Oh, well, Prince Harry can't wanker it for the rest of his life. That's right. I think he can. <laughs> The Brit, I guess he. Why uh, you're a prince? You can get whatever woman you want in this world. And he picked an American. Go he, America! A B level actress. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe C level. <laughs> oh, maybe C level actress. Think she's as high as C level. Uh, D. You know, it was, it was pretty funny. I was listening to a, a radio show today, which made me forge you that. And they're talking about, well, how in the hell does Prince Henry meet this Markle girl, this American actress? So I said, I know exactly how it works. He's sitting in there in the royal palace and goes, hey, I want to meet that chick. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And the boss man says, yeah, I got you, Prince. Calls her up and says, hey, you want to meet Prince Henry? She's like, who? Prince Henry, Prince of England? Uh, say no more. Say no more. Say no more. No, say no, no, no more. more. Now, by the way, and she uh, in a sack. first husband, uh, divorce is final. I'm out. I'm going to go be a princess. Maybe he was just a big fan of Suits, the TV show Suits. She was That's in that. what I said. B-level actress. Yeah. C. C-level. D. D. Has anyone watched Suits? I mean, if you're Prince, if you're Prince Harry, right? Don't you think you could at least get something along the lines of like Scarlett Johansson? No, she's already married. That doesn't mean he can't still have her. <laughs> that, that's too too many redheads. What about Margot Robbie? She's a she's a, a person of the empire, isn't you know, she? We're past the time when men can just pick out what women they want. Well, that still that's exists. Let's move the 21st century, Blake. If you're a prince, well, the 20th you can century. pick whatever woman you want. <laughs> Trust me. 19th century? 19th yeah, century. Yeah, so great. Well, you at least have to ask permission for them to come to the tower now. Blake talks big, but he's not even allowed to have a top five list. So I don't want to hear it. I bet you Prince My Harry is allowed to have a top ten. Top 500. Top 500. My question is, is, does he have to give up his spot in line for the throne? Blake or Prince Harry? Prince Harry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Since his like great-grandfather had to abdicate. Or his great grandfather's brother, or something. Prince like Edward? Are you talking about <laughs> Edward? So yeah, now. exactly. Because he well, married a non royal. Like if his brother and his brother's family all died in a uh, snake bite accident or something. I think I think and, part of the post World War Two British Empire, you know, dissolution, you know, dissolved. I think part of that was they had to let common people become royalty when they married them. I got a question. Yeah, but this is a divorced American. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, but, but like I said, I, did she break? I think that was part of the rules of uh, World War II victory. Okay, but <laughs> the British imposed on themselves. <laughs> that the British said, "Ha ha! Now those evil Germans won't make us uh, abdicate our thrones." That's anymore. right. We're gonna make you. All right, you can either keep Gibraltar or you gotta let American <laughs> actresses become princesses. And the British said, "Okay." But but in the grand scheme of things. The royalty doesn't do anything. Who cares? Hey, 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 hey. Well, they, they don't do anything. They are the no, world's they most anything. expensive welfare family. Exactly. <laughs> and, and she had a job, and to marry, she had to quit her job. Exactly. I, I don't understand no, that. She has to quit her job. She's not allowed to She's act anymore. She's not allowed to act anymore. anymore. That's right. She has to go on British welfare. She was working much to begin with. So. It's in the parliament laws. This this is just a big, massive plot by the British. So their child will be born as an American. Anchor and, baby! And eventually <laughs> run for president and win and reunite the two countries. I like it. Or she's she's marrying him so they could film a sequel to King Ralph in 20 years. <laughs> I think it's all the long play. It's all That's the, long the worst play. long play. Hold on a second. <laughs> I thought we were going on a pretty good laugh streak there. Yeah. <laughs> Until Jason started talking. Jason. Let me just watch All right. Oh, now we're back. <laughs> Better question. How has 
somebody in the royal family not push the fucking queen cunt down the steps? How has that not happened? Well, well how have you not pushed murder mother down the steps? <laughs> this is called murder? My grandmother's dead. No. They, well, they, they have, but she just bounced back. Wait a minute. You don't need an inheritance when you're on royal welfare. No, but she's just annoying. Do you want to deal with her every day? All she does is wave her hand yeah, like this. Like How annoying is that going to be? No, 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 no. no. But no. if you didn't like your mother-in-law, I mean, how could you put on... If in a heartbeat. Like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Down the hall for the family. Uh, there well, we broadcast. Jason, I'll let you know, it's not that easy mm-hmm. to kill evil. <laughs> My grandmother lived until she was like 95. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it, it's pretty tough. Okay. We were actually surprised when she did pass away because we didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Satan just called her home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on, uh, let's see. Uh, we're on uh, WeBeGeeks.pc.com every Wednesday our episode <coughs> drops. iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Google Play, all of that. Hello, then, Becca. Uh, no, no, no. We're on nerdly.co.uk. <laughs> Wank us. Uh, Tangent Bound Network. Cheeky Monkeys. Danger Entertainment. Danger, Danger Entertainment. And Geek Life Radio, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central every week on uh, Fridays. So if somebody wanted to send stuff into us or complain in real life, you can go to HobiePod at gmail.com and send it to us by email or on Twitter at Bad Ideas Podcast or on Facebook at The History of Bad Ideas. And if you want to complain, send it to at Graphic Novice. Yes. Make sure it's, it's labeled to uh, Michael Leal. Yes. And we are uh, Floppy Award time, so check our, fa- uh, sorry, our, our Twitter. Twitter. we got lots of polls that are going. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Blake, let's start with some listener feedback. All right, today's listener feedback is brought to you by the Letter B. Flat Earth Society. And uh, today, starting off our listener feedback is uh, this guy sitting here named, formerly known as? A-Pants? No. no Doug. Currently known as A-Pants. <laughs> you, you know, I went to, the, the uniform guy came by for work, and I just had a few dollars left. A-Pants on your I had a few dollars left, and I, and, I, and I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll get a pair of gloves. He said, okay, what size do you need? Let me see the hands. Do they, come, like, in they said, come in A-Pants? Do they come in Harambe size? He said... XL, he's like, nah, we better go 2X. <laughs> I'm like, son of a bitch. Did you strangle his tiny neck? Did you strangle him? <laughs> That's what he said they go. That's what he said they go. That's right. Welcome to Harambe size. <laughs> Did you just drag him around your pen? <laughs> uh, uh, double X. Mail was still late that day. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it beats being power bottom, so I'm. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't power bottom over there. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jeff, power top. How are you doing? Oh no, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael Moore. <laughs> Michael Moore. My bad. Question Matt is, Moore. Who, who, who would have thought? That scam Jeff was the best nickname. <laughs> Even the gimp. <laughs> I, I suppose the dit man was lucky. <laughs> we have to change that. Well, the dick man will be here for the committee, so it'll be good. It's all good. I mean, you know, how pathetic is it that your nickname is just a the in front of your last name? <laughs> but <laughs> well, <I'm> dit man. <laughs> Anyways, Doug, would you like to read your little... Live on Hobie, now it's the man formerly known as Doug. <laughs> With the rumors of Disney buying Fox, when will you bow to your entertainment overlord? Never! Never. Always. Always. <laughs> you whore. I have a question for you. Will you be buying the Disney uh, streaming service in 2019? If they have the Marvel on it... They will. Yes. Okay. I'll dump Netflix. Uh, I'm not too impressed with Netflix lately. I rarely watch. I mean, I'll watch. I haven't watched Stranger Things yet, but I'll watch that. I'll watch the Marvel. I haven't Wait. started that yet. I got. I started. I got one episode in on the Punisher. Wait, Did you, you like it so far? So you, far, yeah. You started Punisher and you didn't finish uh, the Inhumans. I finished the Inhumans. Oh, okay. What did you think? Oh, it's terrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stream that on Disney streaming uh, service because it was ABC. I, I, I watched that and it was after it was done. It was like. Okay. Did you watch the whole thing, all eight episodes? Yes, I did. Oh, that was bad, wasn't I was, it? That was, yeah, that was... 
I mean, it's like I was hoping that there would at least be some sliver of something I could pull out of it. I kept thinking, sooner or later, our hair's going to grow, right? What's <laughs> the point of having her if it's not, you did know. Did it ever grow back? No. No, no. stubble? The only well, time, alert, no, it never did. The only time she used her hair is when she was in bed with her husband. Oh. In the beginning of the first episode. Yeah, and then and she got drugged it. and her head shaved. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And, hmm. and then he only used his power. Well, they showed it in flashback when he killed his parents. Mm-hmm. Oh, spoiler! And then one time in the whole... I mean, not Twice. Just Did he? Accidentally once when he got bumped uh, when the police were chasing him. Oh, that's right. Okay, I forgot about and that. He went, that's right. Oh, and he that's exploded right. the that's police right. car. And, and then he knocked yeah. the building down. Yeah. yeah. It was like, really? So you have these no. pa- people with superpowers and... Two of them don't work. <laughs> how, how could they not get Rob Zombie to do the uh, theme show for that? Like, more inhuman than human. Did you take off the Disney hat? You kind of look like a security guard now. I'm kind of yeah. freaking... Paul Blart, Paul Cop. You guys kind of look like a Hold French on, cop. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. It was better when you had the price tag hanging down, boy. <laughs> that was my... That was looking gangsta. <laughs> yes, with a Disneyland hat. That's right. D60 gang. Uh, so you would not recommend inhuman stuff? Oh, I think you ought to watch it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. If you want to find, it is great for trying to find a way to waste eight hours of uh-huh. your life. Okay. So on the poster, Marvel just put Jeff from Hobie says it is great. <laughs> <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it is a great way to waste eight hours of your life. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, so you, speaking of you seeing things, did you get a chance to go see Blade Runner twenty forty nine in the no, theaters like you did. wanted? Nope. Oh, okay. Doug did see Justice League though. Please explain. How was that? I'm I'm not a DC hater. I thought Batman versus Superman the first half was really good. Mm-hmm. Not really. It was good. Mm-hmm. Second half was horrible. <laughs> Wonder Woman first two thirds or so was really good. I bought that for seven bucks. The final eh. like should have held out for five. <laughs> so so I, it was two thirds the price. That's what I'm saying. Movie. It should be two thirds the price. <laughs> got it. I got, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, so I was going in. I wasn't going in. I mean. I didn't read spoilers. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought, okay, I'm going to see it. I'm, I'm going to give it a... And then early in the movie, the bad guy showed up. And I thought... And I don't play video games, so I don't know what... There's a video game out yeah, so, with some monster guy who's the bad guy. But you thought, why did it have to be like an alien guy from the universe? He didn't even look that good. I mean, it was like the video game mon- got bad guy on the commercial. It was like... Wow! No, but, this can't be it. So but you could have Steppenwolf. Had, you could have had the band Steppenwolf. The band. He looked horrible. <laughs> Would the band have been better as bad guys? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Was he like an eight-bit bad guy from uh, Pixel? No, better than that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I would have rather had that. Is Kevin James in it? No. Okay. It was, it was the same thing. Batman v Superman. It had to be like some alien. Right. And then now Justice League, I haven't seen it yet, but it doesn't mean I can't have an opinion about it. In right. X-Files, it's always aliens. You know, it's aliens. It's like, and the big baddie has to be this whole universe crud destroying alien dude. I'm like, well, you just can't just pick like a regular alien, you know, well, bad David guy Ailey with powers did say from that he should have Earth. had the Joker as the main bad guy in Suicide Squad. It's like, yeah. no shit, Sherlock. Dumbass. Not a fucking mummy. I, I, thought, I thought Amy uh, Adams, was, and it was horrible. I'm not sold on her oh, as Lois Lane. And she really it was pointless. Yeah, though. okay. Yeah. Lois Lane. It's like, I like Amy mm-hmm. Adams. Yes, I yes. don't know how she screws up or how they screw her up. In mm-hmm. she just wasn't yeah. important. I mean, they needed her for one thing, and that was it. But did she throw the only weapon that can kill Superman <laughs> into the water? <laughs> we don't need this anymore. No one's the only get weapon that. that can kill yeah. Doomsday. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> Nobody needs this giant hammer. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it was typical. I figured Aquaman would be awesome. Flash would be cool. Ha! Wonder Woman would be good. That was about it. What about Cyborg? No, not really. Ugh. No. I heard they really didn't do any development. Like, you didn't even know who the hell he is. No, not really. They said they cut a lot of that. Yeah. They just, he just showed up. Yeah. Who played like, Cyborg? Uh, Torch uh, Boy. Ray Fisher? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds right. Hey, look at me go. Oh, yeah, wrong. Was, was... Don't correct us because we really don't care that much. <laughs> it, it, I thought it was a really good It bad. is Ray Fisher. Okay. I mean, I, was, I went in with an open mind. I thought it was terrible. 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 I have yet to see it, and I my wife keeps saying, J- just go. Go see it. I don't care what tonight you go. I was like, eh. No, nah, what a waste eh. of time. I don't know. You know, but my wife didn't think it was that bad, but she likes Riverdale. Enough said. 
Don't you fucking That's talk so to me. Happy, man. Uh, you shut your whole mouth on Riverdale. might love it. Well, yeah. you, you might have something there. You should probably go see it. Archie's yeah. With the abs. lowest of expectations possible. Archie's abs. Mm. No, not really. Those aren't impressed abs, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, shut it. You Veronica, have one ab. Okay? Veronica yeah, is the only good thing about Riverdale. Oh, Veronica. I'll give you the shower scene. Mm. Oh, I don't think I saw that. Oh, she... Because she, her and uh, Archie get it on in the shower oh. opening episode this year. Mm. Oh, mm. this year. You know, that's actually a uh, good way to hurt yourself. The shower? Yeah. <laughs> it depends. You can slip and fall. Or it's pretty a good easy. way to get engaged. <laughs> Down the hall. Ask <laughs> Prince Harry. <laughs> Ask Prince Harry. Do you want to expound on that? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I played the fifth. Moving on! <laughs> so. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to ask some questions. I feel I'm like not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'll continue the family tradition so we're not showing. Hey, let's move on. Uh, Blake, what do you got? All right. Moving on. Our, uh, Nikki, our favorite Indonesian, says, uh, regarding the top five action films from two weeks ago, because she's, you know, like... On the other side of the world. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like a day ahead of us. So that's There's like this international watch. dateline thing. I don't know how it works, but I guess she finally got it, and we didn't give her her time. She says, uh, you forgot my list. I'm hurt, guys. She says, I'm too lazy to put this in order. So now she wants us to read her list, but she didn't put it in any specific order. Uh, just move on. Hey. <laughs> All right. From Daddy Waffle. Uh, regarding the question of the first non-DC Marvel female superhero movie, you forgot the original Tank Girl. I didn't forget it. It was just really, really bad. <laughs> Who wasn't Tank Girl? Lori Petty. Oh, that's right. That's why I didn't like her. Yeah, we, we was that a shit barbed wire. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned barbed wire. So you're saying Tank Girl is so bad that it's worth forgetting, but not barbed wire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. oh, well. And, all right, so thank you, Daddy Waffle. Uh, Randall Holt. Thinking of getting the kids slash family a PS4 for Christmas. Uh, what do I have to do to have Nick Albright send me $100? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. He says, PS4 for Christmas. Yes, no, pros, cons? And then he did say, I will do anything, Nick. Anything. But leave his family out. That's right. <laughs> Uh, I like the PS4. I, I think it's a great system. We yeah, we had the, a discussion about a hundred episodes ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, about the PS4 versus the micro, you know, the Xbox One, and how upset we were about the Xbox microaggressions that they had in there. How you had to be con- continually connected to the internet he, he to get didn't the games. Compare it to the Xbox One. He said it's P- but we but we talked about nothing. it. We talked about it before though. Why it's a better system than you know the retro oh, yeah, everyone knows it's retrogradable system, games. But is it worth having? PS4. What's retrograde? Although I had to learn, you know, square triangle it's backwards compatible versus X Y A B. There's a lot of good kids. Circle. Games. My kids, uh... I mean, it was difficult for me to overcome those button choices. My uh, son is seven and a half, and uh, he's starting to really get into the police station. And there's a lot of good games for uh, kids. And police even... station? Yes, for the police station. He's starting to get into the police <laughs> station. They, they pick him up and bring him there every other <laughs> afternoon. It's not as good as traffic court, but then what is? <laughs> <laughs> or Roy Moore's... Roy Moore's sex, sex traffic court? court? Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, my son's uh, been into uh, the games, uh, the sports games he's been able he's been able to play, like Madden and all that. You can get those on any of them. But I do like the PlayStation a lot. I think it's... Um, I like the controllers a little bit better. Uh, um, and there's a lot you can do with uh, it. So do it. Especially if Nick gives you, you know, some money. I like the soothing startup music. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's having problems with it because he's not used to controllers that have more than one button. Or paddles. <laughs> he keeps trying to plug the paddles in. It doesn't work. The, yeah. the Atari uh, uh, 7800. 5200? 2600? 5200. Granted, they did the exact same thing, but you could elect which button to hit. <laughs> uh, I, I'm waiting for Kaboom to come to the PlayStation. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> Me I, too. I already have it. Oh, do you? Yeah. On, on it. How about beat them and well, eat them? Well, that was on the PlayStation 3. Oh, how about beat them and eat them? No, I couldn't find that. Oh. Well, when the, oh, and number one, Van Doug gets back here. Or General Custer. What about Burgermeister? 
Burger time. <laughs> Burger time. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Burger time. Doug, you're a big fan of beat 'em and eat 'em, right? No, no, okay. sir. Not at all. Hey. Checking. That's Pornhub. Down I think the hall. I scab Jeff's That's parents were like like that. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else we got? So <laughs> it was an informative answer, Randall. What? <laughs> Just go ahead and buy it. Buy it. It's down to one ninety nine. Yeah, next from uh, Chad Rose. Or is it Chad? Or is it Chad Rose? Uh, exactly. well, he, he is Canadian and they I do think speak you... French there. Yeah, we just got our first IHOP here in Manitoba, Canada. Does the uh, U.S. still care about IHOP or are we late to the party? Well, uh, late again? to the party. No one cares about IHOP. Yeah, you're, you're so like three years behind us here at Cincinnati. <laughs> Here, we just well, got one. If you want to get overpriced pancakes and feel like crap for the next like 18 hours, go to IHOP. <laughs> is it mm. worse than the Waffle House? <laughs> yes. Really? Because yeah. it's like twice as expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, it is. Okay. I've never been to the IHOP. I tried to go once when they were building it or when they just first opened, and apparently they weren't open 24 hours at that time. Because. Mm-hmm. Wasn't well, they weren't open? They, did, they didn't have the grand opening yet. Yeah, they weren't open twenty four in a row. Not in a row. No. <laughs> yes. Just open twenty four hours. Not, not, not in a row. row. <laughs> but they didn't have the grand opening yet, so they weren't like open all yeah. the row. Like, oh well. Yeah, I'm true. not going there then. But for the, for the rest of our Canadian folk, if you haven't voted on the Canadian of the Year, you know. But if you want to know about IHOP, just go to Tim Hortons and smash three cake donuts down together and eat them real fast. <laughs> Uh, speaking of uh, Canadians, we have uh, Miguel. Mm-hmm. I am French. Miguel. Hello, I am French. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Miguel. I do a little hula hoop with my croissant in my mouth. And uh, uh-huh. we uh, Michel Liel. Uh-huh. Demi in the boot. Notice that's what he said. I'm sure Michael loves the fact that you do that every time you say his name. Miguel. Miguel. Yes, and Michelle. Mm-hmm. Said, uh, good episode last week. That's because I wasn't on it. Said, uh, Genie Steals the Show versus the Magic Voice from MST3K. Smiley face, winky. Yes, we uh, had a little. Uh, she was a little louder. The volume. Yeah, uh, we had six the sets, so. lady of space violence. So lady space violence. We should all yes. Skype in so we can all be loud. Yes, yes. Lady space violence from the sector Toledo. <laughs> from the outside of the sector Toledo. <laughs> oh. Right, right next to Millersburg. Right and close to Millersburg. It is true. It is very true. Do I know what Millersburg is? Uh, the brewery from last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I already forgot. Circling the black hole known as Detroit. Detroit Rock City. What else we got? Uh, from the Pop Culture Cafe. Today, mate. Uh, I like this. This is this is how TPC keeps up on things because they mentioned our favorite. Lord Buckethead said, uh, please discuss Lord Buckethead which uh, we had talked about in uh, English elections, Mm -hmm. uh, addressing rumors of Time's Person of the Year. Per Lord Buckethead, they contacted me last week and said, it's fine, we don't need a photo shoot. (laughs) (laughs) If you have seen Justice League... Oh, wait, hold on. How's this tie into Lord Buckethead? I think it's two different points. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we'll stop at the first point. Uh, I wish Lord Buckethead was the... The uh, person of the year. You know, if, if, if Lord Buckethead ran on the Libertarian ticket, he may have beaten uh, Hillary and Trump. Yes. Uh, I think he will have known where uh, some uh, foreign leaders, unlike Gary Johnson. I think he would have been more intimidating to foreign leaders Yes, wearing his bucket. <laughs> you say that like they asked Gary Johnson to name foreign leaders. They did. <laughs> he was like, who? They, they did. <laughs> they asked him one question that anybody listens to, and that's all the uh, press no, they, asked, they asked him, who's your favorite foreign yeah. leader? And who the fuck would be stupid enough to answer that loaded question? Oh, I would. God. Okay, you're stupid enough. <laughs> 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 uh, George Bush? They, <laughs> they also, well, that would have been Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never know he's born in Kenya. 
Down the hall. <laughs> no, I, or, no, the other thing that done Gary Johnson in was the fact that they asked him about Riyadh, and he's like, what's Riyadh? No, Aleppo. No, Aleppo. Oh, Aleppo. I'm sorry, Aleppo. You can't even get it right either. I said, yes, I like the Three Stooges brother. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> what's up for president? Yeah, I'm not running for president. Yeah, and, and that was a uh, Marx brother, not a Three Stooges brother. Whatever. <laughs> Details. You can't even get that right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, Pop Culture Cafe wants to know if you've seen Justice League and what are your opinions on the post-credit scenes. Well, Doug, Doug? <laughs> what are your opinion on the post-credit scenes? Uh, all right. All right. About it. I thought best color man in the business for nothing. <laughs> uh, I, I thought the with uh, what was the name Deathstroke. Standing on the yacht, looked fake with the background. It just it wasn't that great. Did they have the song "I'm on a boat" playing in the background? No, they did not. I'm on a boat, boat, boat. What about boats and hoes? Boats and hoes. No, I, boats I, and hoes. No, I, I was so hose. out of it by then. Probably it didn't matter. What about uh, Superman's CGI lip? Because apparently that was beginning a lot of play in social media when they showed his, his mustacheless lip. It looks and it bad. looked really yeah. bad. I, I heard that, like, I was talking to somebody who said that he forgot all about it and watching the movie he didn't notice it. But he heard that if you actually were looking for it, it was pretty noticeable. That I could yeah. be. I didn't, yeah, I forgot about it and really didn't pay attention. Well, the same thing with, uh, was it Rogue One? If you look at Tarkin and Leia, you know, Tarkin I thought was really bad looking for... Really? I thought it's just opposite. I thought Leia was bad looking and Tarkin was good. None of, the top of his head, none of his skin moved. I mean, you know... Well, yeah, he's evil. <laughs> and dead. But, but, but the other guy, the guy in white, uh, his 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 face, facial features moved. Tarkin's didn't. Stormtroopers? No. <laughs> I couldn't get past Darth Vader's huh. collar. No, no, his no. Net, uh, His sweater. <laughs> Whatever that thing was around his yeah, turtleneck. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't notice until you assholes started saying it. Now I can't get over it. My son has watched that show like five times, and I was like, I can't get over the fucking neck. Good- good- to which my wife said, Do you think this is age appropriate? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, you, Turtlenecks are not age appropriate? <laughs> no, they're not. Turtlenecks suck. <laughs> I mean, granted, you use turtlenecks to hide hickeys and all, but I mean. tr- are we 16? <laughs> No, it was fun because in grade school we always knew when our teacher had a hot date over the weekend because she always would wear really? a turtleneck. Wow. Okay. What else? Oh, Miss Smith was out this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we always knew because our English teacher always called in sick on Mondays. Uh, Doug, you, you remember him? Who? Uh, one of the English teacher. He always called in I sick. I, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. He had the chest hair growing. Yes. yes. Yep. 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 Uh, it's Monday. He's hungover and he's sick. Ah, that's a shocker. I think he worked five sun- uh, Mondays out of all the school year. I want that job. Yeah, but you would have to be around kids, and you it, know what the law says about you and kids. <laughs> yeah, he was also, I thought, a little too uh, interested in the girls in the class. Allegedly, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I don't know. I just, yeah, just. Um, he was showing the chest hair for a reason. It's middle school. He was very. <laughs> He was very worried. Yes. He was very worried more uh, traffic court. Uh, what else we got here, Blake? Let's wrap this sucker up here. Uh, Jennifer G. New listener. If you made it this far, congratulations. We're sorry. Here's your listener feedback. Yes. All right, Kevin at Cincy Sport. No, I'm joking. Jennifer G. If you could be any superhero, who would it be and why? Classic man, you can stretch anything. So can Mr. Fantastic while I play some over Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, he's smarter, too. What about Stretch Armstrong? He's not a superhero. He can stretch. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go, uh... Hmm, that's a tough one. Mm. Do I have to pick it? one that's already in existence, or can I yes, just... Yes, yes, yes. Or make one up. Um, I'm trying to think who has the best teleporting abilities, because that's the superpower I need. Doctor that's... Who? Nightcrawler. Yeah, Nightcrawler can only teleport to places he can see, and you'd have to... And he's more handsome than you, so that helps. Mm -hmm. It's like a blink. (laughs) It's like a blink spell. Even with a tail. (laughs) But he can't climb the side of buildings, too. It's true. It's true. He can disappear in shadows, and that would be a nice gift to have. So can Darkman. Doesn't he have a cool tail? 
He does. Sorry, there you, you talked me into it, Nightcrawler. There I'm it is. Dark Man. <laughs> I am the Dark Man. Yeah, Jim. I'd have to be Gambit because then I'd probably get those exploding dildos. <laughs> no, that's true. That is true. Everybody loves exploding dildos. Uh, again, I do want to thank Jeannie from, last, right. from uh, Hobie last week, formerly a sorry language. Uh, she after the show, uh, it was a great show. Thank you, Jeannie. Uh, we're going to fix the sound next time. Uh, better, though, she also sent me a picture of her holding a dildo last week, so that was good. Um, I appreciate that. Um, it, it was a penis picture. Uh, she sent that to me on Twitter, so that was wonderful. She want a floppy? No, no, no. Oh. No. She may now. Is this, is this like competition for the floppy awards? It might be. A rival uh, floppy? It, it might be. It, it, was it floppy? I'll show you the picture. <laughs> All right. So, Jennifer G., is that the question? Is that the answer you're looking for? <laughs> Will you never send a question in again? Blake, what's your superhero? Spider Man. I always like to be Spider Man. Shoot okay. webs, walk, crawl, and be snarky and smart ass to the bad guys as you're beating them up. Okay. Doug, who are you? Um, Iron Man? Why? Our, no, that's what I was going to say. Iron Man. 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 Well, if that's the case, fuck that. I'm going Batman. Nah, I guess he's rich. What a surprise you said Batman. Okay, fine. I'll go with somebody else. I do like Captain America. I always like Captain America. I think I'll go with him. And I you get to pick four or five of them? Okay, I'm going Captain America. Not literally doing Captain America. Well, St- I don't know. Chris you... Evans is pretty fucking awesome. You already said Plastic Man. Yeah, you already said Plastic Man. Damn it! Remember, no, no tap back. Sorry, be. you stuck with Plastic Man. And remember, when you stretch things out, they get thinner. <laughs> but you can go wider too. No, you can't. Have you watched The Flash this year? <laughs> yeah. Plastic Man's in it. Yes. I I like The Flash this year. I'm enjoying yep. it. Is Plastic Man's Hawaiian sidekick in it too? No. No. Oh. I do like that. Uh, Cisco's vibe. Like, he's fully embracing it. He is a superhero. I like that. I like his girlfriend from the other Earth. Mm-hmm. I like that. I, I think they're doing well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Killer Frost, she's just hot, so I'm fine with that. And Barry Allen's not as annoying this year. Yes. And Iris is, though. Iris always yes. is. So. What about Joe? How's Joe? I like Joe. Uh, originally, he was going to be up for Ernie Hudson was the role. Really? Yeah, and he lost out. They recast him uh, after the pilot. Ernie Hudson gets no good roles. I mean, he gets no respect. He was in that uh, cop show last year for Fox that got canceled. Bad, bad <laughs> cop show last year. For I Fox. liked it. You Everybody knows one. he was the best ghost. Speaking of that, did you see that uh, Wisdom of the Crowd, Besotted Geek's favorite show, got canceled? Uh, Jeremy Piven uh, was accused of uh, inappropriate sexual touching. And uh, just like everybody it else, canceled. Yeah, it, it, just it was canceled. only after the fourth person came out. Yeah, yeah. Only. <laughs> and also, knowing knowing him and, and almost most of the characters he's played yeah. in movies, I don't think he's acting. I mean, <laughs> is well, anybody surprised? Uh, is it, is it, yeah, isn't that the persona that he uh, puts out there? I'm uh, I'm German proven. Fuck you. Well, I'm, I'm awesome. Saturday Night Live. Entourage. Saturday Night Live had the joke or whatever about. You can watch it in the documentary Entourage. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking asshole, allegedly. Anyways, uh, moving on. So. Kind of a jerky. Yeah. There's no Kevin Spacey. Yeah, anyway, that's guys. true. All right. Thank you, Jennifer G. Yes. Let this be a lesson. Don't ever submit <laughs> listener feedback questions ever Keep again. Keep submitting no. them. Everyone. New, <laughs> new listeners. Everyone listening, submit yes. one, and maybe it'll get through the cracks. Maybe, yes. The interns will actually read it this time. Yes. Uh, next, from Kevin at Cincy Explorer, Gal Gadot or Linda Carter? Gal Gadot. I say, why not both? Oh, because that's your wife says no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be neither. That's a lot of vents you would be closing. <laughs> <laughs> I am, getting, with him all. I am getting her a lasso for Christmas. <laughs> your wife, Gal Gadot, or Linda Carter? I'm confused uh-huh. on this. Or your father-in-law. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It'll make you tell the truth. <laughs> I was just hoping to get tied up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, how is your small house? Your tiny house? It's great. Did you buy one yet? No. Oh. How's your father-in-law? Great. Have you? Were you able to watch anything on DVR this week? No. Oh. How long have you been with him? Uh, in the house. Since August 20th, but nobody's counting. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, what happens if you lived with your in-laws? 
They go to Florida half the year. That'd be fine. But the other half of the year, if you lived with them, he'd go to Florida <laughs> for half the year. That's right. It works out great. Heard that's right. the postman's dream job is Hawaii. At least that's what this postman named Newman called, said. That was, a, that was a dream job. Newman. I don't Newman. think so. Hello. Doug Galgado or Newman. Linda Carter? Uh, I saw parts of Keeping Up with the Joneses this week. Mm-hmm. Definitely Gal Gadot. I watched that. I have not seen that. Wow. That's with Zach Galifianakis, that? right? Yes. I'm not a huge fan of him. No, I'm not either. It was not bad. It was pretty decent. What if you are a huge fan of Zach Galifianakis? You, you would love that it. guy is incredibly handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I watched it. I started watching, like, I missed the first 15 minutes, mm-hmm. and then it was like 12 o'clock at night, and I ended up staying up till 1.30 watching it, like, this is actually not that bad. Where they're trying on underwear together. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow, Gal Gadot. Oh, that would be my answer too. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't even seen it, but uh, that Google it. Is uh, Isla? Yeah. Isla, Isla, Isla Fisher, Fisher and Gal Gadot. Yes. Yeah, Isla, yes. I thought she was nice looking. In. Oh, she's now awesome you see me. Yeah. Wedding Crashers. Wow, and she looks like a pair to Gal Gadot. Woo, ain't we a pair? Woo, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. All right, now that we're done with our uh, pathetic, pathetic male portion of the show. Well, you gave love to Zach Galifianakis. I was talking about her acting ability in that scene. Oh, I don't know you know. Jeez. Yeah, because that's all you care about in a woman is her acting ability. Fake, uh, fake. You're so shallow. <laughs> uh, what else we got, Blake? Nothing from Nick Albright this week. No. Let's talk about the professor. But well, we got listener review from Dez. Oh, we do. Oh, good for him. Dez, uh, his listener review. Have you got... A review and you want to share it with everybody, send it in. So it says, uh, first episode of Runaways. What is Runaways and what's it on? It's on Hulu. Hulu. That's what I thought. You told me it wasn't Hulu. I don't know. <laughs> it is Hulu, though. Yeah, okay. thank you. All right. And what's it about? Uh, Runaways. It's about the comic book of the same Outsiders. Name, based off of the, the parents runaways. are bad guys and the, their kids are, uh, find out they're bad guys and can't deal with it and they want to become good guys. Okay. It, it, from what it looks like, it looks like it's, uh, at least what I saw, was going to be faithful to the uh, comic book. Oh, okay. Well, Dez says... Well, at least the first story arc. Anyway. The first episode was pretty good, but uh, still recommend starting with The Punisher. All right. Well, I'm one episode into The Punisher. I'm two episodes into The Punisher. I'm one up on Jeff. I'm zero. It, it's... It's five ep- good. I'm five episodes in mm. Jessica Jones. Really good show. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. How many episodes are you in River, Riverdale? Uh, I'm one episode behind. Okay, stop. Yeah, <laughs> watch something worthwhile. I am. Riverdale. Uh, go ahead. Keep moving on. And then uh, from uh, Professor ready. Number One at uh, Doctor Number One. Mm-hmm. It says, for the record, when Monty the Llama and I were cosplaying Harley Quinn and Batman at the expo, Llama touched me inappropriately. <laughs> I don't think there is a way to touch Dr. Number One inappropriately. I think not being touched is inappropriate. I'm more scared that Dr. Number One was actually at the expo close to our booth. You didn't see him uh, cosplaying Harley Quinn? No, I missed it. Oh. Missed it. There was 80,000 Harley <clears throat> Quinn ones, so I missed it. Uh, one of them was Dr. Number One. Okay. Uh, we are actually... Oh. It was still sexy. Mm. In those tight shorts. Uh, let's see. We're going to skip road on me this this week. We'll do that next week. Sorry, Doug. You can come back. Good. I, I had. I've never seen uh, uh, Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek. I don't want to wait. For uh, Dawson's uh, Creek has Joey over. and Pacey. That's all you need to know. Okay. Don't want to wait. Uh, anyways, face off this week is from Dev. What do you want to do, Jeff, with face off? Dev. I want to take his face. Oh, that. Oh, and sure. you could also forget about that movie. You could also give Dev's theme music. Doug, Big Dev, Big Dev the Psy Guy, Dev, 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 Big Dev the Psy Guy, Dev, 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 Dev. <sighs> hey, you know, I actually listened to a shot of history mm-hmm. this past week. You're you the didn't one. learn anything? Yes, I was the one download. <laughs> no, it was the the Pasha that uh, brought down the uh, end of the Ottoman Empire. It was the first. I I try to get to listen to people who listen to our podcast. I try yeah. to get and listen to theirs, you know, when I can. So I did a shot of history. He's a very intelligent yes, guy. Yes, he is. Shit, that was on record. It wasn't. Damn it. Oh, Can damn it. Retract, retract. Cut. Here, I'm, I'm Cut. editing it out now. Abort, 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 abort. abort. There, it's gone. Okay. Uh, Dev uh. says, who wins, Cal Drago 
Uh, I think he's from Rocky IV versus Aquaman. Or Cal Drogo from uh, Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Oh! Mm, That's the versus... Jason Momoa character from Game I got of Thrones. Versus right. Man Aqua. Uh, Aquaman wins. Uh, okay. Aquaman wins because Cal Drogo, uh, as big and badass as he looks, they only lasts one season. Not even a Cal, one Cal season. Cal Drogo was it's, killed by an infection. He ended before the one season. Time out, though. Would Aquaman... It depends. Is it on land or water? Doesn't matter. Aquaman's cool everywhere. I don't know if he can breathe outside water. Doug, you saw Justice League. Can Aquaman breathe outside yes, water? Yes, he was awesome. Okay. What about... He carried the trident. What about fresh water? Well, that could be a good trident fight, I think. Oh. Versus Brick. From uh, Anchorman, <laughs> was, I like it. I was, I was thinking Cal Drago oh, tried it, but sure. What is, was that? His lobster eating tail fork you're talking about? Yes. Did yeah. he wake up next okay. to a lot of dolphins in his bed? No. Okay. Did he have melted butter with him? <laughs> I did not see that. Did he have biscuits? What about cheddar biscuits? Cheddar biscuits. Cheddar biscuits. What about <laughs> shrimp cocktail? Um, cocktail hey, hey, hey. sauce? It's a giant shrimp cocktail. Okay, you just leave it alone. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's uh, an oxymoron. I heard that. Uh, I saw the meme. I think you sent it to me on Facebook. It's Batman. Why should you be in the Justice League? My mom's name is Aqua Martha. <laughs> 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 okay, you can come in. Why would you say that name? Martha. Aqua Martha. Martha. You know, she's in the Justice League, too, for no really reason. Martha? Aqua Martha is? No, no, Aqua Martha. Martha, whatever. Martha Cat? Yeah. Yeah. Martha Quinn? Wait a minute, Superman comes From back? From MTV? Martha Quinn is in it? Wait, yeah. So did he come back at the end, or is he in it, like, in the beginning? She still has her boyish haircut. Uh, I think about halfway through. Yeah. I, I don't think really a lot. Well, well done, DC. You had to wait a whole hour to get him to resurrect from the dead. Thanks. <sighs> and his upper lip. I can't wait till Flashpoint reboots everything. They're wait, going to. Wait, Superman died? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. Ah! The end of Batman v Superman. Ah! Way to waste Doomsday. Could have had him as the bad guy in Justice League and have him kill Superman. Ah, yeah, might as well. That's why I mentioned Dark Side. Fight another universe destroying they enemy. They're Dark Side now. They said they're doing. Uh, they're not doing Dark Side because they're not going to make another movie because the universe is dead. No, they're supposed. <laughs> They're supposed to uh, do was it the bad guys villain the um, the Legion of Doom Legion of Doom yeah <laughs> why didn't they start off with are, that? are they going to actually have the Legion of Doom uh, <laughs> the, the floating the head yeah that would be cool the that floating awesome. head spaceship yeah I, like I, I have a bone to pick with the Legion of Doom I still haven't gotten my uh, uh, money from my car accident when I backed into it. And Solomon Grundy. And stop. And the last thing I heard when I run away was Solomon Grundy crush car. Solomon Grundy is very underrated. I heard he's Butch in Gotham. Is that him? I don't watch Gotham anymore. Who said that? Somebody well, said I that, right? I didn't see that though. Yes. Yeah. Butch is becoming Solomon Butch is Grundy. Going to be Solomon Grundy. Yeah. Well, it might be worth going back to Gotham. Mm 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 mm. Maybe or maybe it might be worth to listening to Hendo's Gotham Lights podcast. A good call. It's much more entertaining. Uh, did well, you still watch Gotham? No, ever since they killed off Crazy Barbara. They killed her off? They killed her off? Again? They killed her off? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now with your tracksuit and your Disney hat, you kind of look like a president going undercover. Even more so that you don't want me yeah, to just going undercover there. Anyways, moving on. Look right. out for a jog. <laughs> don't mind me. Are you president? No. No. Here's your uh, listener feedback. It's time for another installment of the News of the Geek. Our intern put this on just for Doug. He knew that Doug was coming here. Poor Collider. Collider. Avatar 2 and its sequels have been, ta- been ta- uh, taking a very long time to get started. To the point it looked like they were never going to happen. Yay! But they are. Oh. No. James Cameron recently talked, because that's all he does, about shooting Avatar 2, which will predominantly take place underwater, and talks about how they handle the difficulties that come along with that. So Avatar Land now has an underwater section? Sure. Sure. Uh, it's never been done before, and it's very tricky, because our motion capture system, like most motion capture systems, is what they call optical based. It's never been done before? How did they do Aquaman? The problem with the water is not the underwater part, <laughs> but the interfer- uh, interface between the air and the water, which forms a moving mirror. That moving mirror reflects all the dots and markers, and it creates a bunch of false markers. It creates thousands of false targets, so we had to figure out how to get around that problem, which we did. 
Basically, whenever he had water to any problem, it just gets ten times harder. I feel like I'm reading a Donald Trump speech there. You know, we can't do this, but I did because I'm awesome. You can't do it, but we did because I'm great. It's never been done, but uh, we're doing it. It's huge. We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, we did a tremendous amount of testing. We did it successfully for the first time just last Tuesday. We actually played an entire scene underwater with our young cast. We got six teenagers and one seven-year-old. Oh, great, there's kids in it. That's going to really make me want to watch this. Yeah, because the uh, dinosaur uh, Jurassic Park movies are so good when they have kids in them. Are there topless mermaids in this? There are teenagers, Blake. How disgusting. 18. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we've been training them for six months now with them how to hold their breath underwater. Uh, they're up to four, two to four minute range. They can hold their breath. Two to four minutes. Uh, there was a little correction on the bottom of this uh, article too. They've gone through eighteen teenagers. Yeah, they, they started with twenty-four <laughs> teenagers and four seven-year-olds. <laughs> Survivor of the fittest. <laughs> the two-minute kids didn't last. <laughs> That's why they keep pushing Avatar Land back. So it will be included in the uh, in, in memorandum uh, <laughs> at the, the end of the Oscars. <laughs> But Corey Haim won't. You know, you know, after this movie flops, they'll be able to uh, scuba dive very well after this because it's all about, you know, oxygen, breath control. Uh, you know, the funny thing is that he did say that he's making four of these, and then he did go on to say, well, if two and three didn't make as much money, we're not doing four and five. So don't see it, people. Don't see it. Uh. Doug, what do you think about that? I, mean, I think it's going to be a successful mm -hmm. Sea World is floundering. <clears throat> so I think it's only a matter of time. This is a hit. Like, I'm sure it will be. Mm -hmm. All James Cameron uh -huh. movies are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Disney goes by SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. It becomes Underwater Avatar. Uh, that's my, that's my, that's they my get rid of all the animals, obviously. The Does real Disney order. own Avatar, or are they just renting Avatar? They're just renting. When they buy Fox, I think they'll own it. Ah. <laughs> they went down to Blockbuster and rented it from there. <laughs> same value. <laughs> I paid my three fifteen. <laughs> I now have the right to put it in my amusement park because I'm renting it. <laughs> Here's your licorice whip. There you go. There you go. The problem is that how did they find a blockbuster? <laughs> They're all over Avatar Land. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can get people in. The Navi still in the rap movies. <laughs> Ooh, Navy Seals just came out. <laughs> Uh, moving on, per the hashtag show, uh, production of X Men Dark Phoenix, colon Dark Phoenix, wrapped over a month ago, was just under a year to go until the movie actually hits theaters on November 11th, 2018. We've yet to see much of a single official image. That's a good sign. No. <laughs> why, why, why show images when you give spoilers like you're about to read? You ready? Yeah. New plot details have now surfaced, and they reveal that we should expect a major character death. Oh, boy. When Jean Grey finally loses control and goes full-on Phoenix. We I like full-on Berserker. We already saw Jean Grey die. Is that that's something new now? I don't think that counts. We don't know yet if that counts anymore. Per well, it doesn't because they reset it and she came back. So, uh, director Simon Kinberg isn't holding back, and we'll kill off either Mystique. Nope. Not going to happen. It's Jennifer Lawrence. Magneto. Eh, maybe. Professor X. Maybe they or beast him off already. Yeah, or beast. Yeah, it's going to be beast. Beast, <laughs> beast. Is it because Wolverine's already dead? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, with her powers out of control, Jean will impale. Oh no! He even says how he's going to kill him. One of the characters mentioned above, unequivocally killing the character. So what's the point? I mean, why wouldn't you keep this secret and have it as a shocker? To have everybody go to the movie. Instead, you're like, "Hey, yeah. oh, movie's a year away. I'm gonna kill off a major character. Oh, They're gonna the way, get him out there spilled." Does anyone care about Dark Phoenix? The rumor know. is that they're going to reboot after this one. Well, yeah, they saw how popular Game of Thrones was was killing off major characters like every other episode. So they're just trying to jump on board. I'm going to another yeah. spoiler here. They too. got Sansa. Is this Sansa in this? I don't know who that is. The red hair yeah. chick. Yes. Yes. Cal Drago yes. is in it though. Uh, he plays <coughs> Namor, uh, the Submariner. Anyways. Man Aqua. That's right. Uh, I got another spoiler. Magneto's going to be bad. Then he'll be a good guy. And then be bad again. And then become a good guy. All right. So. And Mystique I'm works. I'm sorry, it would be opposite. Good guy, oh. bad guy, good guy. And Mystique works for him. Yes. But then she doesn't. Yes. And then she does. Yes. And then she's a good guy. And then she changes. Yes. Shape shifts. And Professor X doesn't feel like he can beat the bad guy, and then he finds a way he can. 
Yes. Because he controls their fucking mind. You can beat everybody. And then Cyclops mopes. Stop it. How are and, you uh, guys coming up with this? This is genius. Well, it's called a little uh, segment we call the boardroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Uh, I just want to let you know, uh, it, we're in the boardroom. We actually yeah. wrote the script. Uh, Blake is actually goes by Simon Kingberg uh, as the actual di- as his director name. No, because if I was a director, I wouldn't give away um, killing off a major character and more or less tell him how I was going to do it. <laughs> in Beast. the 37th minute of the movie, I'm going to kill off uh, one of the characters. Yeah. With, well, with an it, ice beam. I just like the, <laughs> yeah, the, the selection here. It's either going to be Mystique, Magneto, yeah, so and the other characters are safe. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. They're the three biggest characters, character names. Or yeah. Beast. Yep, it's Beast. Beast. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised they didn't throw Jubilee in the list. <laughs> Jubilee. She has magic firework hands. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Or Ensign Johnson wearing a red shirt. <laughs> was it Pete Holmes? I kept firing the X Men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Because <laughs> you haven't seen them, um, get on uh, YouTube and look up uh, the Pete Holmes. Pete show. Holmes, yeah. The, uh, Professor X fires the X Men. Not Peter what? Holmes, the porn star. Not him. Isn't there a P- Peter Holmes? Yeah. Sure, there is now. <laughs> What's your impersonation of him? <laughs> Thump. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Pretty accurate. That was a good one. <laughs> Not my best impression yet. You forgot the, oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Per the website, Mike. Uh, coming off the critically acclaimed Blade Runner. Are you sure it's not Mick? Could be the Mick. It's a great TV show. Uh, coming off critically acclaimed, but nobody watched Blade Runner 2049. Except for me. Dennis Villeneuve. Dennis Villeneuve. And now has his sights set on another sci-fi masterpiece. Frank Haybear's Herbert Herbert. Dune. (laughs) Frank Care Bear's Dune. Uh, Velo of the is currently working on the script for Dune. And in a series of interviews, the writer-director opened up about his new project, which he says he's totally focused and even obsessed with. Yeah, so he's going to kill off either... (laughs) (laughs) Kyle McLaughlin or Sting. (laughs) Or David Bowie. Isn't he in it, too? Yes. Oh, no, it was Sting, right? Yeah, he's going to kill off uh, Mohadid. Why would you kill the wrestler? (laughs) Sting. Yeah. Uh, he says right. he's totally focused on Dune right now. Obsessed. I dream about it all the time. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I don't know if I will make the movie. I don't know if we all will agree on the screenplay, but damn it, I'm going to write something about it. <laughs> Maybe in six months I will be unemployed, but for now I'm dreaming about Dune. <laughs> okay. There's always Tim Hortons. Okay. For them French Canadians to go back to. Do you care about Dune, Blake? You're the big Dune fan here. I, I'm telling you, the, the sci fi miniseries of Dune was pretty good. And I don't even know why anybody would want to go back and remake it again unless you're a scarf wearing Frenchy Canadian. That's true. Well, the same reason why somebody had to go back and, and redo the fantastic uh, uh, miniseries that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost kept a straight face. The CGI <laughs> animation on the original It was amazing. That spider thing at the end, oh my god, that was great. That was so good. It was Tim Curry. So. <laughs> he was a spider? Yeah. He was just a Halloween costume as a uh-huh. spider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you put it for your dog. Like yeah, it. Mm. Are attached with like his old sticks. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we could see the string. <laughs> <laughs> People are upset because I'm quickies. Doug, this is for you. Quickies. People are upset about the 21 yeah. minute short, in quotations, of Olaf's Frozen Adventure before the Pixar film Coco. Fans are wondering why Disney slash Pixar let it go on for 20 minutes. Because it was a TV special that was supposed to run a half hour. That's what I was wondering. And they didn't think the movie, because it was pushed back and mm-hmm. and that, I don't think they had confidence in the movie. Which is, I wouldn't know, because, you know, as being one of the bigger Disney fans yes. in your podcast area. Free at last gave us free tickets. When you would get free tickets... Mm-hmm. You wouldn't offer them to me, I, which is just shocking. Your wife went with I, my, I, my I wife. I got you a hat. Yeah. Your wife went with my wife, though. Okay. So she could have told you How does that affect it. me? I'm just saying. I just didn't feel like going that night. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So you gave the tickets away. Uh-huh. I said it to and somebody in your family. That's not me. Well, that's not my fault. Well, you sent them to you, but they were in- intercepted by your wife. No, I didn't get word of it until she told me. Yeah, Jason gave me tickets. Really? 
My wife offered really? some to her. Really? And all this all this swag and free stuff you bring these All guys, the time. And all the time. I didn't know I you were a Disney that. fan, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a Disney fan, I would have done it next time. Uh, they're doing the but, Song but of the South revival next week. I'll, do, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll send go. it to you. I'll send it all to right, you. All right. Well, it's, but, a, it's actually at this uh, Tennessee college. So the uh, sneak preview they saw, did it have the Frozen special? No, yeah. No, That's why. Yeah. He wants you to see the Frozen special. Oh, okay, special. okay, okay. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Uh, let's see. Uh, apparently made life rough for movie theater employees as they took to Twitter. Hannah Heston Alien sh- said, Shout out to, for Disney for making my life harder. I had about 70 confused customers who thought they were in the wrong theater since Disney decided to... A- to put a 20-minute Frozen short before Coco. Oh, poor pitiful you. Hey, I agree with every single one of them. Jacob, at general, the theater has signs up warning people that froze, the Frozen short before Coco is 21 minutes. Uh, Gunblades McQueen says, My local theater has a big warning poster that there's a 20-minute Frozen short before Coco. Be aware. Uh, and then, uh, hold on, Vasquez says, Sometimes I wake up covered in sweat and screaming. Filled with horrifying certainty that I'm still watching the endless Frozen short that played before Coco. So people are not happy. It's a 21-minute fucking short. I mean, that that is kind of fucking long to be put. You know, you're used Especially to... Especially with the kids in front. Yeah, you're used to a five- to eight-minute short on yeah. these. Uh, yeah, three times as long as your normal short is a little ridiculous. It's Disney. They can do what they want <laughs> when they want. And this episode is sponsored by Disney. The, give him a hat. Jeff, give him your hat. <laughs> the best one I got, to, I can't even remember what movie it was, uh, but there was a short. Like, all Pixar movies have a little short at the beginning of them. Uh, lady came out, said her grandson was crying because he wanted to see whatever movie it was, and she wants us to stop this movie and start the right movie. I said, it's a... Uh, Five minutes short before the movie, she's. I don't care. I don't. And like by the time she was done arguing, her movie had already started. And she missed the first five minutes. I hope she did. So there you go. If you see Coco, be warned. I know. It's just Elsa privilege. If you like listening to this podcast, then I guarantee you're going to love. Thinking Outside the Long Box and our scintillating interviews with pop culture celebrities. I have a responsibility, not just to my son, but to everyone I meet, to let you see this is what you can do. This is what you can have. Look at how different I am. My God, look at all these people here. Can I be more different? Jesus Christ. But it doesn't stop me, so why should it stop you? Our discussions on the classics of pop culture literature and movies. This version of Night of the Living Dead, I regard personally as my favorite movie of all time. Oh, really? It, I can trace it back to that movie for my love for, for movies and, and, and entertainment. And of course, our intelligent discussion on all things pop culture. Reading, passively reading the comic book. That's good. Here, I'll put it close to the mic. Oh, listen to me flip the pages passively. Yes. And then, so this is aggressive comic book reading. Oh, man, yes! It's so good! It's like that. Wow. Well, maybe not so intelligent. To listen to us, search for Thinking Outside the Long Box at iTunes or Stitcher, or find us at www.totlb.com. Now back to your super interesting show. It's time for Box Office Bombs. All right, Box Office Bombs. Per 411 Mania, Roman J. Israel Esquire expanded into a wide release but fell on deaf ears. The legal drama brought in $4.5 million in three days and $6 million in five days. That's not good. That's the lowest wide release start for a Denzel Washington film since 1990's Heart Condition. Anyone know of this one? No, I'll look it up. And is this before Denzel became incredibly po- popular, too? No. Oh, uh, before Heart Condition, he had $4.1 million. It's with Bob Hoskins. 
Uh, Roman got tepid reviews when it debuted at the Toronto International Film Festival, and Columbia decided to recut the film. That's always good. The film shouldn't get much higher than twenty million domestically. The budget was twenty two, so it will lose a little money. Uh, Heart commission. Man, I'm going to say twenty two million. And how much of that do you think was Denzel Washington's fee? Twenty. Uh, <laughs> uh, Heart condition. This should have been on plot lines. Uh, a racist cop, Bob Hoskins, receives a heart transplant from a black lawyer he hates, who returns as a ghost to ask the cop to help take down the men who murdered him. Didn't we have this on plot lines? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds familiar. It does, actually. <laughs> How did that not make more than $4.1 million? Uh, Chloe Webb is in it. Uh, directed by James Perriott. Uh, I'll let you know. Yeah. Uh, Perriott was born ni- November 40, 14th, 1950, so happy birthday. You just had one last month. Oh, happy uh, birthday to every November birthday. He do, uh, he's a producer <laughs> on Grey's Anatomy, Covert, Covert. Affairs. Covert <laughs> Affairs. Uh, he has a speech impediment. Executive producer on 11 episodes of Sons of, of Anarchy. Uh, Ugly Betty. Yeah. Uh, so he's on a lot of TV. Not much. Uh, yeah. Not much else. Yeah. But, and but so, heart condition. So in, in the Denzel Washington screen, uh, string of things, like this was still really early in his career, right? Like He directed one episode of uh, The Incredible Hulk. Denzel Washington did? No, this guy. Oh, you're still on that guy's page. Yeah, it was in 1990, so I would think there After St. Elsewhere? After St. Elsewhere, but I was wondering, you know, it was after Carbon Copy, which was probably his best. But... (laughs) Uh, He did Glory right before this. So, okay, it was right after Glory. Okay, so... I didn't even know Denzel had a new movie coming out. Obviously, this had like zero advertising. I've actually seen ads for yeah, it. Yeah, I don't really? watch this than most of, Yeah. Holy moly! I had no idea what it was he about. He plays some like very eccentric lawyer. So that's the plot. Denzel, eccentric lawyer. <laughs> it's a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> Probably worked best as one. What else we got? Uh, also bombing uh, Justice League. All right. Uh, <laughs> the top five this weekend, uh, this holiday weekend. Uh, Coco made forty nine million in its opening weekend. No, but a lot of one. people just went for the Elsa short. Probably Olaf. <laughs> Olaf short. Uh, so, so this is just the three days. This, this is three include... day, and then we have the total for the five days. Okay. Yeah, total seventy one. Because <laughs> it doesn't add up otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on a budget of one hundred seventy five million. So. They said they expect it to do really well because overseas it's already at 180 million, I think. Oh, okay. So overseas already yeah. got its budget. And they expect made. it to actually. Pixar has a good job like holding on for a while. Yeah, Pixar lasts a while. That, and they said. It might last up to two months anymore. They said it would probably be around 150 to 200 million yeah. easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Talking about like movies lasting in the mm-hmm. box office. Uh, what, Me TV or whatever that shows all the old shows? Mm-hmm. They were showing a uh, Tonight Show with Johnny Carson like mm-hmm. over the weekend. And it was from 1977, and Mark Hamill was on it. Yeah. It was from November of 77, and Star Wars was still in the theaters. Dear God. Uh, not, uh, 11 months later. Not 11 months. Oh. No, it, it came out in May. May. Oh, okay. Seven months. Seven months. But, uh, yeah, if you get two months in, you did a real good job yeah. nowadays. That's pretty funny. That Because was... Johnny Carson had just went and saw it the night before. And it's, and it's, <laughs> I suppose that was the attitude. You didn't have to go out on opening weekend because it was going to be around for a long time. Yeah. Was this post-Mark Hamill uh, car accident so his face was all screwed up? Uh, you know, I honestly couldn't tell. Uh, like, his hair was kind of distracting, so... Uh, is this before or after Johnny would beat people, allegedly? I did see him beat Mark Hamill. Okay, so, so that's good. That's good. Was this uh, after Mark Hamill made the follow-up to uh, when the lights went out in Georgia? Sure. <laughs> uh, the sad part was Mark Hamill was the second guest. <laughs> Who's the, the first? The lead guest on that episode was Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> 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 I didn't actually watch the Charles Nelson Riley interview. <laughs> Moving on. So, so what you're saying is you're you're in a movie with uh, droids, robots. What are these robots? Is that your Johnny Carson? That's my Johnny oh, Carson. Oh, that was Charles Nelson Riley. I thought no. that was up too. No. So after Charles Nelson Riley, John Carson's like you're in a movie with robots, uh, space opera, Did he have, something like that. Did he have the goofy hat on? 
Was he a psychic? <laughs> was he doing the Karnak? Yeah, that's right. Uh, number two, Justice League made another $41 million, a total of $171.5 million on a $300 million budget. Just enough to pay for Cavill's CGI lip. Yep. They said uh, they expect to lose $200 million on this. They're going to get their budget. This, yeah, already, but with marketing and everything else, they, they said, already made a hundred and almost $200 million They said they're going domestically. To lose, going to lose $200 million because the they're budget They're going to make is, at least twice that overseas. You they're, think? They're marketing... Was eight hundred million dollars? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, but the lip was uh, to remove the mustache was eight hundred million. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jason's favorite wonder made twenty two and a half Fuck million. Fuck this movie. A total of hey, hey. Nine and a half million. Everybody th- on a budget of twenty million. Ovation. No, they don't. No, no. Because you know what? It's kind of like what Dash says in in the Incredibles. If everybody's special, that means nobody's special, Mom. Just saying. I think the bad guy said that. Yeah, maybe so. No, okay. I thought didn't he? No, it was Dash. Syndrome said it at one point. Syndrome might have said it one if time. If everybody has powers, you know, if everybody. Yeah, but if everybody's special, that means nobody's special, Mom. I'm telling you, it was Dash. Okay. I think they both incre- said it. Did you see the Incredibles uh, teaser trailer? Yeah. I'm excited I'm, for it. I have not. Yeah. I don't need to see it because I'm going to see it in the theater. Yeah. So the trailer does not. D- did yeah. you see the just the fibers on his? On his sleeves of his shirt. Of Jack Jack? No, of, of Mr. Incrum? No. I mean it is so I mean you know, detailed? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> uh Thor Fraggle Rock made another seventeen million, a total of two hundred and seventy seven and a half million on a hundred and eighty million dollar budget. And Daddy's Home Two, another thirteen and a half million, a total of seventy three million on a sixty nine asterisk million dollar budget. Uh, yeah, that moved up from $55 million. so next week it will, I'm sure it'll be $200 million. You know, I, I noticed what's missing from the list is uh, Medea's Halloween 2. Boo! Boo! Uh, it was on the list at least two weeks. <laughs> Doug, did you see that? I gave you tickets for that. No, I did not. Oh. You see? had tickets to see Boo! 2 and didn't? <laughs> Boo! Uh, I'm sorry, Justice League will lose only 50 to $100 million. Okay, oh, that's, that's better, better than oh. $200 million. Go tell it to Netflix. Um, and upcoming uh, this weekend, December 1st, uh, no wide releases in the U.S. No, none at all. I was kind of surprised by that. Uh, so that means everyone can go watch Justice League again. Okay. Now, or not at all. <laughs> I have a question about that. So Star Wars comes out the 15th. Yeah. Jumanji comes out the 20th. Really? Why wouldn't Jumanji go back to this week? And jump? Are they more afraid of Justice League than they were of Star Wars? Or at least not this week, and do it next week. Well, they wanted Christmas. They Up against Star Wars? Well, everyone's going to see Star Wars the week or so before Christmas. They want the families coming out on Christmas Day, day after Christmas. Wow. I, I agree with you. They could put it out two weeks early and still be there for Christmas, but that's not how they think. Okay, uh, what do we got? Uh, Buy, sell? Buy buy or sell uh, stock in the career of Denzel Washington. Sell. Sell. Sell now. I'm buying it. It's falling. If you're dumping it after uh, Roman Esquire Israel. Cutting your losses. Then I will buy up what you're selling because Denzel is going to be a box office uh, gold in the future. He will win another Best Actor award. Or two. He went for the Book of Eli, too. Good movie. Who was that? Not, actually, not bad. Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I never saw it. Book of Eli? Yeah. Good movie. He's blind. Oh, you ruined it. Spoiler! <laughs> Well, that is our music for our top five. So this week we are doing, uh, well, at least the topic is top five anti-heroes in film slash or television because that's what I felt like doing. No, it says you, television. I did. It okay, says I top five anti-heroes in film. It said, it said film. It said film. Said film. I don't care what it said. I did my own. Because you can make a whole list for TV. Yeah, so you next could. week's. Is that next week? Yes. So then I'll have to come up with a new... Uh... 
I'll have to steal one off of Jason's <laughs> list for a, a new one. There you go. Yeah, there's a whole list for people in film, too, or for television, too. Yeah, there's like a whole different list. They, they were much more enjoyable than the film ones. It said film. It said I film. I had TV film. guy on my... All right, well, then... He then, told me just anti-heroes. He didn't say film or anything. Yeah, he's not very good at... Uh, our, our intern is not very good yeah. at uh, telling us what this actually is. We'll have to fire him and get a new one. <laughs> I need boundaries. Uh, okay, Jim. You need, well, somebody else has to start while I so, so think of a... Jim, all right, Jim, start. Right. Stone Cold Steve Austin be? He's in movies, but he's a character from wrestling. Real movies. I don't have him on my list, but I'd just like to know your... <laughs> where, where would you place him? If there put, was a Stone Cold Steve Austin putting the character in a movie, then mm-hmm. you could use him. Okay. But his character in wrestling is television. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go first, then. Um, this one, I, I kind of... <clears throat> I only have one. I didn't Hobie number five. I just Hobie the rest. My number five is uh, Derek Vineyard, Ed Norton's character in American History X. X. Um, it's true. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, anybody who curb stomped somebody in a movie and you still kind of root for him, he's kind of an <laughs> anti hero. Was that in the black and white or color scene? Black and white. All right, so that was a flashback. That was a flashback. All right, because that's the way he used to be. Yes. Yes. All right, uh, my number five. Now, we were talking in be- when we were off the air, off the air, in between segments recording, is you know definition of anti-hero. You can look it up yourself. It's like a person that doesn't do hero things. But anyways, I, I threw a caveat on there that I had to empathize with the character. So, you know, they're not doing hero-like things. But you're still rooting for them anyways. Right? That's pretty much what I was yes. doing, yes. Except mine were all in film. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Give me a Number second five. here. I'll have something. Number five. He was uh, basically running around doing really revenge killing. But we all rooted for him. That's uh, Eric Draven from The Crow. Oh, and he was dead, too, Yeah, by and the he way. was dead. Yes. Wow. That was, I had to get his honorable mention. It's That's a good, good one. Choice. Thank you. I'll go give you that. Because you're rooting for him. Yeah. And you want him to get his ve- his vengeance. Doug, who'd you have at number five? Well, you know, in, in honor of Jason with his terrible list, I'm going to go with The Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> who goes the around move, killing people? The movie people. wasn't good. You have to use the movie. The movie wasn't good, but I like the character. The movie was good, though. Which one? The For Thomas Jane. The Thomas or the other Jane. One? Yeah, I like the Thomas Jane one. Yeah. The other one. Uh, Dolph Lundgren. The Dolph Lundgren or the uh, Punisher War Zone. Ray Stevens. With Ray Stevens. Yeah. Stevens That's fun. A, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say the one with Sylvester Stallone, but no, that was Judge Dredd. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have a number five. Okay? What's your number five? Since I had to cross off my other one since it wasn't from the movies. Well, you gave in to peer when pressure. When did we ever follow rules? Apparently these guys are just heaping on the pressure here. That we I were. They snapped me in line. It's Lake not peer pressure if you give it right away. following the rules top five. See, what they, did, <laughs> what they did was they made sure that I was following the rules so I wouldn't be an anti-hero. I'd be a hero. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick Machete. Okay. okay. From what movie? From Machete and Machete Kills. <laughs> what was that movie about? It's about Machete killing. <laughs> what uh, kind of weapon did he use? He used a machete. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, almost anything Danny Trio does is entertaining. Yeah, pretty much. And, and that character first, first, first he's in. Yeah, that character first spawned from uh, the. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, uh, Robert Rodriguez double feature, the yes. Grindhouse double feature. It was a, a fake trailer for the movie Machete <laughs> that they said, now we got to make the movie. So basically, I just like it from the trailer. Uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, my number five will be Machete. All right. Okay, now, now you're back to you. Here's your number four. Oh, yeah. For those listening at home, Jason had to step out of the studio, so we'll listen to his when he gets back. He had to go down the hall. Yeah. He started talking politics, and we actually made him leave. Uh, my number four, and this one will... Okay, well, we'll just... My number four is uh, Raslin Majare. 
Raceland Major. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> he's got a speech impediment. He, he's my number four. There was from the a, animated movie. From the animated yeah, movie. Yeah, it's that piece of shit. I shall not a- acknowledge well, its the existence. It's so great that it overshadows the stupid <clears throat> piece of shit animated movie as voiced by Kiefer Sutherland. Yes. But uh, technically, a I, movie, so I. I'll give you points because I like Dragonlance. Yes. It's the. Uh, for the Dragonlance novels, they made a movie from the first book. Yes, those are the, I know. Those are the novels that Blake has been screaming uh, for three years now that he wants them to make a real movie. I out. want the, I want the Game of Thrones or the Jackson Lord of the Rings treatments for them. Yes, uh, but in the image of Larry Elmore's he, art, yeah, he's the uh, he's the 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 wizard type character who. Uh, Pretty much just traveling along with the good guys, but he's doing it to further his own <clears throat> agenda. Yes, his he's brother, like, twin brother, came. Yes. Yeah. I may not follow... Or I'm not following Tainus. We are just walking in the same direction. Yeah. Okay. Doug, but, who's your number four? Uh, you know, I have to go Disney. Jack Sparrow. Yeah? Ah. The first movie was good. And then they made four more. Yeah. Six more? How many did they make? Six? Seven? They made five, I think. Five? Yeah, they're on five, yeah. Four? I don't think they're making a sixth. Thank God. He's a fun character. Was. was in the first one. Yes. But the rum's gone. <laughs> but you know, he's great for children's hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that being said, Blake, you're number four. My number four was a, uh, as you learn, his background was a cold-hearted assassin who tried to give it all up. In the past, but yet forced to go kill again reluctantly. William Money, the oh, Unforgiven. Unforgiven. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I did have him on my list. I'll get to that later. <laughs> Was that before you replaced him with one of the Jasons? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a, a list. All right, William Money, yes. Well, Jim, Clint Eastwood's William four. Money, Unforgiven. I, I hope he does. I have two characters. I have Lester Burnham. <clears throat> And Verbal Kent, both played by Kevin Spacey. So I'm glad Jason's not here so we don't have to hear that <laughs> god awful impersonation. Here, I'll do it. No. Hi, I'm Kevin Spacey. I was in two movies where we played anti heroes. You want to come over to my place so I can fill you up? Okay. So both characters, Verbal Kent, in. Uh, so you, you, you liked the, the Kaiser Sose? Usual character. character. Kaiser Sosa's character was great. That yes. Was, yeah. yes, he was. Uh, the, 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 okay. the entire twist. Were you not hearing it turns out that but he you, was Kaiser Sosa. But he really wasn't a bad guy. He was... Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> he's and when he's, when he's the baddest guy in the when world. When he's verbal, when he's verbal Kent, right? He's When he's verbal Kent, he's playing a criminal. He's telling a story. Or a criminal. But he's not really... He's telling a story. And yeah, but you're not rooting for him. You like verbal, and you want verbal to... No, you don't. I you, did. You, you feel bad for him because he's like a cripple. And, and, and you kind of don't want him to... Uh, <clears throat> you kind of want him to survive. One, you, one you, you don't like yeah. Chance Paul Materi's uh, uh, detective. detective, so you want yeah. verbal to get one over on him. Okay. I did anyway. All right. I, I, okay, I can see that. And then uh, Lester Burnham. But I didn't start cheering when he started walking away <laughs> I did. from the crew, from the from the block from the oh. police station. Spoilers. I mean, it was a great twist. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Jason's coming back from down the hall. And then Lester Burnham, uh, <clears throat> the from American American Beauty. 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 American Beauty, yes. Quits his job, sleeps with the underage girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Kevin was sitting there thinking, uh, what do you think Kevin was going to the director going, don't you think it should be a young boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If God damn it. Going over this hot girl, how about if I get some <laughs> hot boy action? That's Why it. Hot boy, I mean 12 year olds. That's it. You've been replaced as a, the voice of Kevin's face. Going to hell again. You know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. And then, okay, then we'll move on. Uh, Jason. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, all five of yours have been read off already because oh, okay. they were our one. They were all of our fives. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you do mine yet? No. no. Okay. No. What number are we at? Uh, give, us, give us your five. We already did four. Uh, Randall Graves from Clark's. Uh, 
I don't really want to call him an anti-hero. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, I, I still don't see the anti-hero. Slacker, yes, but... He, and... really, for, he, does, he really has no redeeming qu- positive quality. Thank you. Yes, he does. He's incredibly funny and fun to hang out with. And sarcastic. He's, he's, not, he's not a criminal, or he's not doing anything illegal or but, but immoral. He's not, doing, he's not doing anything to really benefit anybody but himself. <clears throat> And it, so, so that's it, a non-hero, you know, not an anti-hero. Hey, if not, you had to work in a video rental store for your entire life, <laughs> yes, those seals. <laughs> oh wait, no, he did ban someone for life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't rent here anymore. Uh, that, that was the anti-hero. Yes, <laughs> and I uh, tied it with uh, Seth Gecko from Dusk Till Dawn, George Clooney's character. Why? Does he Quentin do uh, commercials for insurance? Creepy. Yes, yes. Boo. Uh, and Andy said Creed is good. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, just because he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be, help them, but he knows he has to. They have to band together in Dusk Till Dawn. So just Seth, not his brother? No, because he's creepy. Well, yeah, he's Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So, there's my number fives. Okay. And then, uh, uh, Blake, we're on your number Blake four. Number four. I already did my number four. That was William Money. Yeah. Oh, okay. back to Doug's number, number four. four. Doug, I did my number four. Number four. Oh, no. Jim, your number four. Jason, your number four. Uh, Robin Hood, uh-huh. specifically the Kevin Costner one, just to piss Jeff off. But I love Robin Hood. <laughs> it worked. Yep. Robin Hood. Yep. I would. I would go with the animated one better. Oh, animated is good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That I don't know which one would piss me off any even more. Well, that's just because you have no taste. You know which one was better? Bugs Bunny. Well, none of the ones actually made for the Bugs Bunny. The, the television was. show. Oh, the television show was, but we're talking movies. Yes, we had it has to be movies. Well, Jason wasn't here when I got yelled at because I hit, was putting a television character on my list. Pretty shocking. Hey, wasn't there an HBO? There was an HBO series I remember that was like based on Robin Hood. It was BBC, that was really cool. Yeah, came was over. it BBC yeah. on HBO? Yeah, there, was, there was one in the BBC in the late eighties. Yeah, I thought Robin that was pretty good. That was really good. Robin Show. Yeah, I thought and that then was there good. Was one in the early two thousands, mid. No, not that one. With uh, Jonas Armstrong, no, uh, that that was really good. I didn't see that one. There you go. So I what's your number four? Oh, well, we did. Oh, I did my number four. Oh, Jason, okay. what's your number three? Uh, number three, Han Solo. It's my number three. There you go. You what know, I have a hard time with him being an anti-hero because he plays a hero in the rest of the movies. But the rest the first of the one, movie. he doesn't. Hey, Bell. but I will say. <sighs> Han shot first. He did. He did. That made him an anti-hero. That's what she said first. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doug, that was your number three? That was my number three. Blake, what's your number three? My number three. I'll tell you what. I never read the books, but when I saw the movies, I didn't like this guy until near, what, episode 10, the 10th movie? I don't know, 10th Harry Potter movie? When you realize he was actually a good guy and you start cheering for him at Severus Snape. Severus Snape. Because you, you hate him. And you think he's a bad guy, and he's got you all convinced that he's doing all this bad guy stuff because he's a bad guy. Yeah. But little did you know, he was actually a good guy. He all was along. actually a good guy all along. He was that good because of his love for Harry's mom. Yeah, Spoilers. and Harry eventually. Yes. Well, through you know his love is mom. BS overrated. Not Kevin Spacey ish. <laughs> His un- or you never his know with J.K. Rowling, you know? You never know. Okay, I'll go to my number three. It'll be uh, Travis Bickle and Jake LaMotta Tide. <laughs> Bickle. Uh, so both uh, De Niro characters, uh, Travis Bickle from Taxi uh, Driver. <clears throat> yeah, but he isn't he more of just like a mental challenge guy that you're watching struggle with he the is, world. But he does bad things. Mentally yeah, but you're not really rooting good. for him. You're rooting for him to be good. No, you're watching him going, dude, this guy's life is fucked up. Yeah, yeah you, He's fucked up. So you feel sorry for him. It's, a, it's about mental illness. But you're not rooting cheering for him. For him? What? You're not cheering for him to kill the politician. No, you're not? You're, you're rooting no. for him to Did I watch a different illness? movie than you? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And then Jake Lamada, uh, Raging Bull, uh, Boxer. <clears throat> yeah. True. Uh, number three. Uh, my number three is uh, Alex DeLarge from uh, Clockwork Orange. Why are you rooting for that guy? Because he's fun. <laughs> and he's I hate horrible. The, and I hate the Church of England. <laughs> okay. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his droogs. Georgie? He's dim. Ultra violent. Exactly. A little bit of the ultra violence. Oh, yes. man. Jeez. What's your number two, Jeff? Oh, my number two is V for V for Vendetta. That is my number one. 
Put it on the board. Yep. Love V for v- Vendetta. Love V in it. Yes, you're rooting for him, but yeah. isn't he a good guy anyways? Because no. he's he's fighting the oppressive Trump government. But he's doing it in terroristic to ways. Be. How? Of uh, blowing things up. But does he kill people? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> he kills lots of people, and then his actions. I I, I can't people. remember because I I haven't seen that movie in a very long he time. He kills a lot of people. No. Yes. Okay. So, but they're all bad. But, but they're all bad Trump. Like people, right? But they're, the, the, they're, they're not people. bad because they're the law. Or bad DNC people. Ironically, NBA uh, gr- uh, rated that G. There's a lot of kids <laughs> going to that. Uh, what's your number two, Jeff or Jim? Uh, my number two. Again, it's it's been Hobie again. I have tie with uh, was it Sonny Wartzik, Tony Montana, Tony Montana, and Michael Corleone. I so dick. All Pacino characters. You're an asshole. <laughs> Is that your number one? <laughs> I'll hold my number one. It's one of those three. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I'll, I'll just go on to Blake. Let him describe okay. his number. <laughs> but I'm at number two. What's your number two, Blake? My number two, Leon from The Professional. That was a, okay. he's, a, he's, a he's a professional hit. Yeah, he's a professional <laughs> hit man. For him? He's a murderer. Yeah, so he's, he's a professional <clears throat> hit man. He's a little I cheer for him. He's a little mentally slow. I mean, I'm, I'm cheering for Matilda, yes. And then, for then, he, he, then, he, then he all of a sudden has a reason to live for in the world with the, you know, taking care of the little girl, hmm. Matilda. Okay. That was an honorable mention on my list. Thank you. That was one I thought of mentioning, even when I had to look up a new and, number five. And you're rooting for him, you know. I mean, well, I don't know if I'm rooting for yeah, him. Yeah, you are. I'm rooting for Alex DeLarge over him. What's your number two, Doug? <laughs> mine's in the same vein, mm-hmm. you know, but mine's... Mine's a thief uh-huh. that that kind of turns good towards the end. Robin Hood? Robin Hood? No, a Flynn Rider from Tangled. Oh, oh there's one Hudson Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yay. <laughs> we just watched that movie over this. When I my daughter was in the Tangled, <laughs> so I can't comment. Uh, my daughter watched it every single day for about two years. <laughs> oh, my son used to watch Rio a lot, the bird I, one. Tangled's good, though. Her name know. is Rio, no. and she dances on the sand. My daughter was just in the hospital having a surgery, and uh, before, so, before that, we did watch Tangled while waiting. She was, she was okay with it. it was, she really she likes she it. I don't like her. She she really my daughter shows you all yeah. she can. Oh, Rio, Rio, dance across the Rio Grande. Boom. <laughs> Okay, my number two <laughs> is God's going to sit this one out. Punisher. I already said it. Already said it. Already said it. Already it's already done. done. That, that, that was Doug's yeah. number five. Fuck you, Doug. Ah. Go with the Dolph Lundgren one then. Oh God, no, 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 no. How about the uh, Ray Stevenson one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thomas Jane number two. Uh, my number one was V for Vendetta. <clears throat> uh, Doug, number uh, one. My number one is Francis from Mr. Right. What? <laughs> huh? What the, the Ellen DeGeneres movie? No. What? Oh, that's Mr. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like your answer better, Jeff. It says Anna Kendrick. He, he's a hitman who kills the people that hire him because it's wrong to. <laughs> so then, and then, then he gets. He you sounds know, like a very confused person. Yeah, Sam Rockwell. Funny. It was actually, it wasn't a bad movie. I liked it. Okay, I can see that. That, that <clears throat> at least uh, amused me for at least a split second. I like your answer better, though, Jeff. Mr. Wrong. <laughs> uh, Je- Je- uh, what's your name, Blake? Uh, Blake uh, you bot, number 3,000. What's That's your number right. one? Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. Michael Corleone. Yes, that was my number one. And, of course, like any holiday weekend, if I channel surf and there's the Godfather on or Godfather 2, I have to watch it. It's a rule. Would you say Sofia Coppola is an anti-hero because she ruins the third <clears> one? <throat> I don't acknowledge the third one. Ruin it. I don't acknowledge Godfather 3. Okay, just checking. Just one and two. You realize that was nominated as a best picture of the year. So is Forrest Gump. Yeah. That won. So so is uh, Bye Bye Love and La La Land. Bye Bye Love was never. Okay, La La Land. (laughs) It almost won. (laughs) That was it. But you know, you're Michael. For a second. And then Steve Harvey came out. (laughs) said, here you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, He didn't screw up this year, did he, Steve Harvey? No, no. This universe was uh, Sunday night. Uh, Jim, what's your number one? My number one. <clears throat> one of them's already been said. William Money. It's I also you. included Harry Callahan. Uh, Dirty Harry. The man with no name. Mm, good one. Uh, Clint. And Walt Kowals- K- Kowalski. Get off my line. 
Uh, I just think any movie that pretty much has Clint Eastwood in, he's playing an anti-hero. And, pretty much. Uh, and kind of his, even of his background, he kind of went by that too. Uh, mm. But I think probably those my Walt Kowalski was probably my favorite. But what about Every Which Way But Loose? Every Which Way You Can? <laughs> <laughs> that was the sequel. Yes. <laughs> As long as you have an orangutan uh, sidekick, yep. you're all That's right. right. Is he a third baseman? Oh, sorry, that was Ed. We're not watching Ed. Uh, Je- Jeff, what's your number one? Uh, my number one is Deadpool. Oh, okay. Deadpool is a great movie. I liked yeah. it. Ryan Reynolds was great as Deadpool. Mm-hmm. It's a good, good review. Thank you. Oh, you mean Deadpool from uh, the Wolverine? Oh, yeah, 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 from Wolverine Origin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, any honorable mentions? Honorable mentions? I have to bring this one out. Uh, I have Randy the Ram. Oh, from The Wrestler. Randy Ram Robinson from The Wrestler. Yeah, that's good. Oh, shit. And from <clears throat> probably J- one of Jason's favorite movies, I'll have to go Daniel Plainview mm. from There Will Be Blood. Uh, drink mm. your milkshake. Uh, uh, drink it right up. up. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the girls uh. to the yard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that uh, Kevin Spacey singing? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like and, uh... It? I had Jules Winfield from Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jules. I, I did like him. And how about the misunderstood Phantom from Phantom of the Opera? Oh, they're going yeah. the Phantom. I thought you were going the Phantom. <laughs> Billy Zane. <laughs> Phantom, <laughs> Billy Zane. No. <laughs> and Phantom the of the Opera. Still got the ring. I had those I two. I'm like. movie, but I heard it was shitty. The Phantom? Phantom of the Opera. Oh. I heard people like who like like fan of the opera or whatnot said the movie adaptation was crap. Not good. But it's Gerard Butler, he's just so dreamy. Uh, but he's not the Phantom. That was Robert Duvall. That was Robert England. England, that's who it is. Robert England. Robert Duvall. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had Robert England. <laughs> Freddy Krueger as he the Phantom. Yeah. He was in it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I had Ben the Wade. Phantom or the Phantom of the Opera? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I had Ben Wade from 310 to Yuma. No, that was a Phantom on Elm Street. That was a pro to write down, since you guys brought up uh, Robert Englund, I'll go with the other guy who played Freddy Krueger. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rorschach. Rorschach from The Watchmen. That's a good one. Yeah, he would have been an honorable mention for me. I thought about him. Yeah. Uh, we had some uh, list here. Uh, Sean, a Pittsburgh nerd. Uh, he had The Punisher at number five. Stone Cold Steve Austin. From uh, what? That's from television. We, we already discussed that. We already discussed it. <laughs> condemned. Maybe he's condemned. Uh, the but the re- character. WWF doesn't count. Uh, the Red Hood. He was in the movie. Uh, Under DC, the Red Hood. Animated. Yep. Uh, Loki. How do you know it was him? <laughs> Loki. Okay. And, I'd still call him a villain. And Han... One. Could you let me finish? No, I won't. I will not let you finish. We Han have Solo. opinions here. Han Solo. Uh, let's see here. We also had some other ones on here. Uh, from our Facebook page, we had Chris Richardson. He had he's wrong. Service, yep. Service Snape from Harry Potter. Severus. Severus. Uh, Tony Monta- Montana uh, Montana from Scarface. The Sheriff of Nottingham from Prince of Thieves. No good man. Him. Good man. Bill the Butcher from Gangs in New York. Yeah. And Bruce the Shark from Jaws. I like that. Uh, uh, wait, Nikki it, has one. Oh. Is, Let's see. Uh, wait, wait, is the sheriff of Die the Hard, Canadian? Matrix, the original Bourne movie, both John Wick films, and anything with Jason Statham? <laughs> nice, Doug. That's, that's what she had. That's what Nikki had. I don't want to. We want to forget her. Yeah. It um, doesn't seem right, but good job, Nikki, yeah, for yeah. your top five. Uh, let's see. Uh, De- Dev, big Dev, the sign guy, had, had Patrick Bateman from American Psycho and Derek Vineyard, Vineyard from American History X. He hobied that shit. Uh, number four, William defends Foster from falling down. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Leon, the professional, at number three. Yeah. I thought about this one. John Rambo from First Blood. Yeah. 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 And Not- the dude from Big Lebowski. That's a clever one. I like that. How's the dude in anti? He doesn't want to be involved in anything. That's true. So you just the same way Randall is Graves is one, I suppose. I guess. Slackers apparently are anti heroes now. How's that from falling down one? <laughs> He wouldn't serve in McDonald's. I personally thought the sheriff of Nottingham was flat out the villain, well, not the anti hero. That's because you don't yeah. understand Robin Hood Prince yeah, what, of Thieves. Yeah, what, what, right what, what good does he do? Uh, he collects taxes. Somebody's got to. He and, keeps the poor downtrodden. And he wants to tear people's heart out with a spoon. See, right? so he's going to hurt more. So we have our president as the sheriff of Nottingham. Okay, good. Uh, number uh, Supreme Overlord. Number one, the narrator slash Tyler Durden from Fight Club. And Uncle Buck from Uncle Buck. 
It's an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had honorable mentions, Jake and Elwood Blues. Yeah. Okay. Han Solo and V for Ve- uh, Vendetta. Yeah. So there you go. Jake and Elwood, that's an interesting comic. If you guys got to have a top five anti-heroes, uh, you can still send them in. We'll uh, read them next week from for films, you. From films, not from television <laughs> or literature. Because we can do televisions next week. Yeah. <laughs> no. We, that worked, didn't work out well for in-action films. Um, it worked <laughs> out very well. I had a great list. Uh, let's see. Top five. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Doug, thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. I uh, appreciate you uh, peddling your Avatar Land stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, excited about that. You need more maps. We do for next year. Okay. Uh, where are you going? We've got plenty from this year. Ah, uh, the spring probably. Okay, Blake. My son will be my son will be working down there, so I have to go visit. Hint, hint, Nick Albright. Hint, hint. I could, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to mortgage the house again. You don't have to if your son's there. You get on friends and family discount. It's only fifty percent. Only. Yeah. <laughs> so it still costs six thousand dollars for well, yeah. one day pass. Yeah. <laughs> so he now has eight and a half second mortgages. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only a half a mortgage now. <laughs> <laughs> or one tiny house. <laughs> one more visit, and he's got to turn over his soul. <laughs> he did that on his first visit. <laughs> How do you think Walt stays alive? <laughs> My head is frozen. Uh, number bad idea number three forty four. Making your own homemade rocket to orbit the Earth to prove that it's flat. <laughs> Can you really orbit a flat Earth? He was trying, <laughs> and then he canceled. <laughs> what a uh, pussy. No, he had, he had a long problem. Today, wasn't he? he had a yeah. problem with the permits. <laughs> what a pussy! Do it. Um, so. If you want to prove that the Earth is flat, <laughs> screw the permits. You don't follow permits. Don't you see it's a conspiracy to keep him down? So that, that's right. It? So he can't prove that the, the flat, Earth is flat. The edge. That's true. <laughs> you know, I, I like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's quote about the flat Earth society. People, he said, "This is this is." Uh, you know, this is a failure of our public education system. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the fact that this these people exist. Well, now, now prove that they went to public education. They might have been homeschooled. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> or privately educated by cults. Do they all have <laughs> jean skirts down to their ankles? Yes. Okay, there you go. Anyways, uh, send your complaints to Jeff at Graphic Novels. Uh, anyway, so uh, Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. From Walking Dead to Talking Heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history of not so bad, there's the history, it's the history of bad, so bad, the history of bad, it's bad, the history of bad ideas, podcast. You were listening to Hobie. <laughs> Naming Addenda. Jeff, what'd you have? Let's see. What I have written down, I got uh, the Peter Dinklage of Pez. <laughs> uh, no, I can't even read my own writing now. I suppose I have to... Uh, notoriously horrible people, microaggressions, uh, and the two-minute kids didn't last. <laughs> Jim, do you got any? Uh, just uh, Satan called her home. Did <laughs> you like the Satan yeah. called her home? Oh, it says pay homage to the factory of sadness. Yeah. Pay homage to the factory mm-hmm. of sadness. Play anything good. Okay. Uh... Uh, I got I got middle class white boys. <laughs> <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right. Ooh. And Taco Bell baby. <laughs> Taco, Taco Bell, Bell baby. I had female boxing in honor of uh, Nixon. Uh, two chains. Uh, Snooky Demogorgon. Uh, everyone loves a good dowry. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I can't read my writing. Uh, not easy to kill evil. Uh, Satan called her home and magic firework hands. And I don't know what you believe. So, uh, what we got there? I do like the Taco Bell baby. I don't know if I could stomach having Taco Bell as a title. In the title, I like pick Peter Dinklage Pez. Peter Dinklage. Uh, Pez. Peter Dinklage of Pez. Of Pez. Yeah. Peter Dinklage of Pez. Uh, we're worried about that. putting Taco Bell in the title, but we're going to put Peter Dinklage in. <laughs> well, we like and Peter Pez. Dinklage. We like Peter Dinklage, and we like Pez. Peter Dinklage of Pez. TM. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that trademark? No, but it's trademark, so we don't want to take it. I like Snooky. 
Demogorgon. Snooky Demogorgon was good. You like Snooky, so. Of course, middle class white kids. White boys. White boys. Middle class white boys. I don't know if that in this day and age that's a good. Uh, it's true. In the world. We would get a lot of white power people. Yeah, in us, yeah. yeah. Or we get ass white boy. <laughs> yes. Or we get people listening so because they wanted to like refute us and then be yes. lost. <laughs> what? Are they talking about? Get all the SJW hate people out there. They mentioned yes. this once in their entire show. Then they'll hire us on a bunch of different other things, not white boys. The next thing you know, we're going to have Hobie privilege. <laughs> I already have that. We do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where are we going with? The Dinklage of Pez? Uh, the Peter Dinklage of Pez? Or Satan Called Her Home? Uh, I like Satan Called Her Home. What was left, right, left, right? You're talking about... Uh... So you don't hurt your shoulder. Oh, left, right, left, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I thought you were doing the Konami code or something. <laughs> That's what I thought. Too. <laughs> That's right. Well, for some people, that is. Yeah. So what are we doing? Well, Somebody make a decision. Yeah. The Peter Dinklage of Pet. Okay. There you go. You don't have a podcast until you've got a cease and desist order. That's right. That's right. <laughs>